which is awesome. I really enjoyed that. The new one? Yeah, new one came out uh, last week. It's on uh, HBO Max, which either means Sky or pirating it, because we don't get HBO Max in this country. Sky have a five-year exclusivity. Apparently wondering wow. why people keep... Uh, uh, keep pirating it yeah it's like I, I, so the thing is we watched um king kong which i, I really enjoy king, king kong was great um but it's 16 quid to rent and i'm like you've got to be joking me 16 quid to awesome. rent like the thing is the, the argument is oh you know if you were at a cinema it would cost you that much i'm like yeah but when i'm at the cinema i do get to borrow the cinema I'm not just expected to supply my own cinema. <laughs> but yeah, uh, say I, I, I said if you've ever seen the Doom movie, but I said the Doom movie is famed for ballsing up a, a, a well-beloved franchise. And, and in the Doom movie, it's not set on Mars, it's not set in the future, and they don't fight demons. So it's like, right, or to phrase it another way, this isn't Doom, this is just some film with the word Doom stuck on it. And I, I don't know how so many game, uh, f- yeah, film, ad- game film adaptations just go right. Well, you see the basic premise. We're not going to do that. Like, well, why do you yeah. think? Why do you think this is going to work? To be fair, games work on different principles than movies. So trying to make a thing that's game adapted might not be the best thing to movie adaptation. Yeah, but if you if you can make a good film on its own merits, absolutely. I, I yeah, I, I I'm all for that. That that's that's great. But realistically, wait, what's this train doing? But realistically, it, it's it's not. That that's the thing. Doom was not a good film on its own merits. Doom wasn't a good film of the game. So why do it? What like what? Why why not? Why not do either? You've got to do one of those two things. But like Mortal Kombat, I mean, it's obviously a big bunch of ridiculous nonsense all the way through. Of course it is. Um, but, you know, it works within its own um, uh, mythology. You know, you, you know, you, you go around and, you know, they're punching each other. And oh. There's a there's a there's a tournament of some vague description and they've got superpowers of some vague description. Uh, hold on. Is this on the wrong? Why is Major Willie Wood in trouble? Hmm. How behind trees? X. I've come to the default settings. X. Oh, just X. So this train is at full load any cargo, and for some reason it's just sat at 23%. Like it's not taking on any cargo, and I can't tell why. Let me just let you skip the orders. Be quiet, Major Willie Wood, too. You're fine. I still think the Dead Rising film was one of the best computer game films I've seen. It was um, very Dead Rising, which is what I wanted out of my uh, games. Whereas the Dungeon Siege movie, for example, is, is was one of the worst things I have ever seen. Right, so what's wrong with Major Willie Wood? For some reason, it picked up a bunch of wood and then just went, nah. Oh, you've timed out, Max. Yeah, I thought I did. Uh, now, I can change the timeout. Because I had to change it with Tad. Uh, no, this is on default settings and um, no, no, this I is... know why it did it. Oh, okay. The cause... laptop decided, it, the host decided to shut down before the, the guest got a chance to actually have a... Um, do anything about it. Okay. Because the, the time maps will be the defaults, which is probably not very conducive if you're terrible internet right now. Possibly. I mean, you're only in the north. It's not like you're out of proper civilization or something. Is yeah, that... but it's free. It's the free internet. I don't uh, think I'm in the cheapest north. I can't be really bothered to yeah, I guess. complain about it and get the better one. Because I mean, I've I've stayed in hotels in London. I said I I got the most unbelievable internet. Did you pay for extra internet though? No, no, no. If or you go to the freebie one, and if you go to a posh hotel, you get proper internet. There is no, if you're Premier Inn, less so. Uh, <laughs> the purpose. Oh, this is a money making um, 
scam, isn't it? It, it is in a lot of places. Money. Guess more money, we can give you better internet. Yeah. Uh, more bits. Okay. Um, a publisher has a number of roles, but mostly it's putting up money. Uh, what the hell? This train is waiting for a free path on the way into the station. Oh dear, this is bad. Um, there's a train partway into a depot and it's waiting for a free path. Yeah, well, good luck on that one, mate. It's probably out of a depot, surely. No, no, it's going into a depot and then said waiting for a free path. Can the depots be full? No, no, they can take. They can, you, can fit, yeah. you can fit all the trains and the whole map in a depot. But what did surprise me, amuse me, should we say, about the Mortal Kombat movie? is they don't make it for a 12. They made this, this is a 15. There's a lot of blood and gore and people getting cut in half and stuff because you know, that's what Mortal Kombat was. And I think yeah. I mentioned this before, if you watch the Turtles films, the second Turtles film, to keep the rating, they weren't allowed to use any of their weapons. So the Turtles, have, he's got a sword on his back and he's hitting the bad guys with a frying pan because he's not allowed to use the swords that you can see attached to his back because they wanted to keep their rating. Isn't that a bit... Can't hit people, stab people with swords, you're going to get a uh, 15, hit them with a frying pan, you can stick them in a PG. Um, Open TTD is free on Steam. Wow, this is a busy, busy junction here, but it's going all right. I kind of want to see if I can... I know what I want to do it. I'm trying to work out how I'm going to do it. Yeah, you can get it from the website, but I, I'm not entirely sure it would be a compatible version anymore. It might be, might not be. I'd just get it via Steam. I think it's got newer features. Uh, yeah, but that version is now probably available on their website. Oh, yeah, true. But yeah, more bits. Um, they, a, a publisher more or less puts up the money. Uh, there are various arrangements, but they supply the cash. They may also supply other things, but... Uh, Oh my god, Fuffingford Factory is still... Really? More? Alright then. We're now up to seven full-length goods trains doing it. Uh, there is a game called OTTD that is £1.50. What, on Steam? I don't know what that is. Like, OTTV is, by its nature, free. Yeah, I don't know what you were searching for. But it's free on... It's open, it's open TTD. Not closed. Uh, well, there is... Ah, you see this thing? There are a few other open TTD... Well, there's a few other Transport Tycoon things. How do you get rid of trees entirely? I don't think you can, can you? They always just go to sort of the ghost mode. I, I always use no, them. No, that's a better way of getting rid of them. Bulldozer? No, no, no. There is a, a way of just saying, don't give me these, don't show them at all. I don't know. Oh, fuck's sake. Control 3, control 4 does something weird to my laptop. Oh, <laughs> it's function 3, function 4? Oh, come on. I'm seriously thinking about putting another SSD into this laptop and just having it boot on my on alternative when I'm away from home, sort of OS. Yeah. yeah. Um, and now it's throwing me up because reasons. I'm going to time it out for the way just to warn you. Uh, uh, more bits. Uh, specifically, um, Peter Molino didn't like being told what to do because what the publishers would say is write a marketable game that actually works and does what you tell it to. Whereas he didn't like that. 
Peter Molyneux is a hack and hasn't done anything of any note in a very, very long time. And um, if you ever get the chance to talk to someone who's worked with him, it's, it's it makes for entertaining stories. He is he hasn't done anything useful. He's been a figurehead for a long, long time. And he is a a a pox on the gaming industry to a great way because he's he's full of ideas but not necessarily good ones. I like Goddard, you just say Goddard where he just went, uh, you know what's not making enough money, we're abandoning it. It's like, oh, this was quite good. We're doing another game now. Oh, okay. And he's given, now stopped giving interviews because someone asked if he was a pathological liar. <laughs> Wait, Joffrey, what's wrong, man? Why, you, why aren't you making any profit? Nice bloke, by the way, don't get me wrong. Just atrocious at... Uh, Can't go in the... Oh, no! No, turn around, turn around! Just atrocious at um, delivering on anything even slightly sensible. But yeah, he hasn't done anything good or of note in an extremely long time. I mean, I'm talking Populous 2 era. And essentially, the rest of Bullfrog didn't want to didn't want to do the press stuff. So they said, oh, you can do it. And so he ended up becoming the face of the company. Which was fine, but that meant that they were unheard of. Um, whereas um, he became the, the guy everyone knows. Well, the thing is, I mean, I, don't get me wrong, I grew up playing Peter Molyneux's games. I, I, you know, some of them I absolutely, you know, they're amazing. Um... You know, I played Powermonger, which was an if nothing else, was an incredible technical achievement. I played uh, um, Populous for a, for a huge amount of time, but he coasted on the coattails of that for way, way, way too long. And Goddess was an excellent game and worked really, really well on the tablet. Ran like shit, and then they abandoned it. So I have no time for all, all, all was it all trousers and no or hot air and. No trousers? No, what's it called? Is it? Oh, come on, Mike, you've got to know the phrase. All hot air and no trousers, I think. Or all trousers and... Wait, how did a town child lose 30 grand? Hot air, no trousers. Something like that. All mouth and no trousers, that's the one. Not Nothing to do with hot air. Yeah, but the thing is, he did nothing on Fable. Or he would just come up with... So I had a guy who would, who worked at um, Lionhead. And he said they'd be sitting in a meeting. And Peter Molloy would just waltz in going, huh, and we have to have it. Sorry to interrupt you, but we have to have it. So you know, eating an apple is a good thing. But if you kill bandits, it's a bad thing. But killing is a good thing. And then remember, and he'd just come in and just do these vague, vague sort of fluffy soundbite shit. And the response would be, oh, okay, yeah. And then he'd leave and someone said, did anyone write that down? Cool. Anyway, so back to the, the allocation of the of the IRQs across the memory bus because, you know, we're having these crash issues. So he would just, he was so busy coming up with these extremely high level, hairy fairy ideas um, that he would be out of touch with, what well, reality. And if you played um, black and white, that black and white had a fantastic system in it and you could put your postcode in and it would then simulate the weather in game as it was outside and apparently he was at a meeting and he just kind of paused i went and you'll be able to put your postcode in and then it'll mirror the weather outside and apparently one of the programmers in the front row and he went Ugh, i guess i'll be right on that will i because he just made it up on the spot <laughs> so yeah, that's why i have no time for him because he's a uh well, it's like calling him a pathological liar is mean. He, he's he's like Sean, uh, Sean Murray. He's very, very excited about what he does. And I get the same thing. If I say the game does this or the game does that, quite often I don't mean the game does this, the game does that. I mean the game will do this or it will do that. And I'm just so excited about it that I forget about, you know, tense. 
Where are you going, Joffrey? Continue team, there should be somebody's job to keep the high abstract people grounded or connected to the reality. Well, that's the thing, is he was oh, the I'm high up gonna... guy. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was the high up guy. That was the problem. He was the, uh, the guy in charge, the guy with the name. But shouldn't there be a middleman that connects the implementers with the, the like, designers? Yeah. Um, so at uh, Code Matters, we had a guy called Gav. And he did the same thing. He would just go, do this, do that, do this. And we would all go, okay. And I, I would use the same phrase. I'd go, that's fine. She to get that writing uh, from you. I said, no, no, just do it. So I said, yeah, really not going to do it without. I need, I need that in, in an email. And he wouldn't. I knew he wouldn't. But essentially, we were told, if he came in and asked you to do something, you'd be like, yeah, absolutely. You just, you know, run that past Alan, who was our, who was the lead. Yeah, that's fine. We just need to run, you need to run that past the, uh, the lead programmer so they can schedule it. And he didn't like that. He just wanted to get stuff done because... He was from an old era where you could just jam stuff in and that was fine. Can you wait by the way? Like in the old days? Another station down. Where, sorry? Another station down. Uh, at Black Forest. But in the old, and that, what, another station? Well, you know, make the station twice as wide. Well, no, no, see, this is this is the bug. No, it's one on purpose. So the best way to have a station is to have one train filling up and one train queuing. But more important... Ah, yeah. oh, fuck my leg. Ah, shit. But why is Major Woollywood 8% loaded and not putting any more in? Is there not some at the station? Yeah, there's 652 tonnes at the station. Whoa, that's retarded. So okay. what's going on? I, I, This is what happened earlier. Uh, I don't... Timetables? Timetables fuck shit up sometimes. I hope, no. Because someone's been filling, filling in the timetable. Uh, uh, where is it? Never find the bloody thing with oh, it's to. moved. Information capacities. Yeah. Travel, uh, not timetable. Clear time. Yeah, it's not timetable. Clear time. It's not timetable, though. Go to Fuffer River, actually, stay yeah. for Go to Black Forest, stay for 90 days. The orders are correct. So why is. Now it's at 15%. Oh, uh, I think the. Hard on. How long is this train? I think this train might uh, be too long. No, because the station. So the station is one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 station, seven. Ah, the train station is eight. This is too long. Right. Are you saying that the size matters? I. I know. No, it's seven. It's doing something now. It's taking fifteen percent now. Yeah, but why is it being so incredibly slow? Um. Yes. So there's there is a a hidden. Did you skip it? No, I've just sent to the depots. So I can check the length. There is a hidden penalty okay. for going above a certain length of train, you see. So this train is seven. That's fine. So I've no idea why. Like, that is fine. That should just, that should just work. You don't have to be loading at all. Yeah, um, I'm, I am just going to... I don't think this is the issue, but I'm just going to do this just to... No, they are loading, but it's just super, super slow. Yeah. So have you got your date booked in for your uh, um, vaccine then? I know you're you're now no. young then. No, because I'm up here. <laughs> well, yeah, but you do it on, you do it on a website. You don't just you don't just turn up. Yes, I, I do know that. Yeah, yeah. funny that. The problem the problem is they offered me um, Thursday, which is tomorrow. That is a yeah. I be able to make that uh, one. Well, well, and, but, and then but, the next day I chose. It was like you can get a crawly. I'm not I'm not going to crawly for in jab in the app. Um, yeah, I mean, but with me, I just it just told me where I wanted it. Then it gave me a choice of quite a lot, and then what day? So I I had lots and lots and lots of choice. Yeah, I didn't. I guess I am in a... Mine are all like 30 to 40 miles away. I'm like, why didn't I in my hometown? Well, I suspect that's because there aren't any free ones. Like, you know, they're all booked up. Possibly. Oh, I've got the speakers I mean, I've, on. I've heard about that thing about people just turning up and taking, you know, chance in their arms or thing. Well, they won't. They just... Or they did, there were a couple. They said, well, they're, they're like the, you know, the ones that left over at the end of the day, that one. Um, well... If they open a pack, they have to use so many. You know, well, I, the pack, to I, I would assume that if I guess people that don't turn up, there, I guess there is that. I would mean, assume that if they got seventy-five people booked in, they would make sure they had seventy-five um, vaccines. 
Get out yeah. of here. Ah, oh, all the trains are flowing beautifully. Like, um... Oh, whew. apart from this one here, which is doing some... Is that Major Willy one again? No. Long Goods 5. Oh, I did that. Why is he doing it twice? What a stupid decision. Wait, okay, wait. I'll, take that. I'll take a little bit of track out. I'll put it in. I'll take it out. There you go. Stupid on my part, I think. Yeah, well, um, the thing is, Jay, obviously I live up in Leeds, so I live in one of the largest um, urban conurbations in the UK. So they have a density. I also got, I also booked mine about two hours after the announcement went out. So I was a bit more on the ball than uh, some, I guess. Yeah, I was at work. Um, so, Schalke, in Drinborn, I suspect you could retire all of those buses because they've been replaced with a little tiny hopper train service. In way up north? Uh, it's Fairyland. It's Fairyland. Um, I'll move to there next. But yeah, I, I basically put, I've replaced the buses with trains because you, you, you were just falling behind, but just due to the fact you couldn't get the... Uh, the throughput. Having said that, where they're going to now has four and a half thousand people. Apparently the second vaccination, Jay, varies a lot. The first one, everyone gets about the same level of just, you know, a bit ill. You're like, oh, I'm a bit ill. Whereas the second one, it's either horrible or fine. Passengers from. Okay, I understand you're from Lavish Chateau, but where are you from? Well, I mean, important. I haven't had a train arrive here in a while, so. Uh, which one of these made the most money last I'm, year? I'm watching Major Willy Wood 3, and these days aren't completely dumb. Well, I mean, silly routes is fine. That just means yeah, we've we've done a, a dirt, but it, it's arriving and then not doing its thing. That's the issue. Well, it's timed out again. No. Oh. Just froze up there for quite a large. I mean, the run from A to B is not not this long. He's gone done a circuit as a the map to go to Black Forest. That's probably just a. Oh, that's what he's collecting the wood. Oh, because he got, didn't go to Fuffingford. Yeah, he did get past Fuffingford. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't stop at Fuffingford factory because he's still trying to collect wood. Uh, <laughs> well, he's heading for Black Forest now. Yeah. Yeah. He is, yeah. Yeah. But Black Forest has got 581 tons of wood. Yeah, that's what he does. They are. Oh, hold on! Has someone got a stupid order? Because the, they, they are 95 from Plending Head West and 497 via Foofingford Factory. What? Not, yes. I hope he's going to get back to the station. I oh, know, they're all for five, They're all for Foofingford Factory. Well, it will do. Made, made you really with three, yeah, but there's, oh, yeah, there's a little turnaround down there. Self-service. Yeah, it's just got them self-serviced. Strictly speaking, that town should be much... Uh... Further up the track. So Major Willie Wood does. Down, but... Yeah, so I, I don't understand. But now it should just basically go low. Go. Yeah. Uh, how's it unloading? What? It's unloading. Now it's reloading. That's the fact. That's actually working now. Well, I don't know why it unloaded first. That was weird. The 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 image unloaded. It did actually unload? I don't know. Numbers went down. Come on, tons and tons of space on that thing. Four hundred forty-two tons of wood. Don't stop. Keep going. Yeah. Come on. But those are oh, those are non-stop 
Hold on, let me let me set that to non-stop for no particular reason other than uh... efficiency. No, no, because that. So those, if you look at, if you click on Black Forest and then open up the yep. little tabs, there are four hundred and fifty tons of non-stop wood to food and food. Now I've not seen that appear there. What? Yeah. Four hundred fifty tons of wood, it says. Yeah, but now open that one up, and it says four hundred and fifty tons from the station. Then open that up, and it says yeah. four hundred and fifty tons non-stop. Well, she's on the fire Fluffingford factory. What is going on? Well, 63 tons to Fluffingford. What? Okay. What? What is non-stop got to do with anything? Well, I don't know. I've not seen that appear there before. I've never expanded that before. Oh. Total capacity of this train. Minus 93 tons of wood. Right. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to clone that train and then trash it. I wouldn't clone it if it's got a bug in it. No, no, no. Cloning it just means copy paste the train. Well, let's copy the other one then. Let's see what this one does. 200 tons of zerf for loading. Very good. Yeah, but if I click on the train and I, and I go. 100% to... full. Here we go. Okay, it's just waiting for a free path to go. I like. Let's how to play old. Increasing, it's unloading. Why is it unloading? Yeah, what the hell? That train unloaded onto the station. Well, that's the problem, because then you'll have a bunch of wood that it won't pick up again. But, but it, that, it orders are go non stop to Black Forest, full load any cargo, far end. What the? Well, it's sense. Why would it? Unload? I've not been told to unload. As I said, I have found 100% of the time when something is completely stupid in this, it's my fault. It's always my fault. Always. But that doesn't, that doesn't mean I can work out why it's my fault. Yeah. I'm just going to knock one carriage off that. Just I'm, I'm just a bit suspicious about its length. Her. Okay. I, I'm also curious because it does. Someone's also outfitted. The well, the other one. No, no, hold on, hold on. The other one like was okay. Yeah. So maybe just delete that's, the. That's the one I cloned. Um, what, the, that's the, the one I cloned. Um. Yeah. So delete the carriages, put new ones on, and then just clone Major Willywood two instead. I did clone Major Willywood two. Oh. I, I I cloned two and then trashed three, but the clone of three is called two. I'm trying to work out how to refit the. Uh, Oh, we can upgrade. I don't. Let Let's just leave it go a second, because it's now time to upgrade the trains anyway. Okay, no, just auto upgrade itself. Ah, uh, well, I will tell it to upgrade. Now we've got the uh, the TGV. Very good. Apparently, we have one of the wrong type of trains somewhere. Wait, where? Oh, is it in a depot somewhere? <laughs> I'm just looking at the list of all the trains and the, all the, the icons are changing. <laughs> so it's just sat there, not collecting any wood off the station. Yeah. That's okay. Let me tell it to uh, go to the depot. Because then it will um, hopefully upgrade. Because those Intercity 125s annoyingly have capacity and it looks like it's been outfitted for... Wood, and I think the game's done it automatically, and it's possible that's actually got a bug. These oh, ones put wood in the carriages. Oh, hello, that's not the right way of going. Uh, no, what? <laughs> Why would you do this? That's not. Um, yeah, go down. The wood is lost. Yeah, funny that. Well, <laughs> picking a stupid what? route to go down. Why is it going down? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> right. Go on, go that way again. I dare you. Double B, about. Oh, now what are you going to do? <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, now my fault, my fault. I built railway, not electrified railway. Oh, we've got to change it. Got to change it, oh, yeah. Oh, right, oh, okay. You yeah. put the wrong sort of track down so it couldn't... Yeah, let me just convert all of the electrified railway in the whole level. 
because that probably means I've derped somewhere else. Yes, I did. Somewhere there would have been some other electric stuff. You th I wish it would say, warning, this electric train has just driven into a, a non-electric railway line. Yeah, we have to scoot across it. Now, that won't explain why it wasn't loading, but we have re now... Re it's still, yeah, it's still not loading. It's still not loading. What on earth? The thing is, I can't Google, for example, my train isn't learning at transport tokens. It'd be full of people who've just done something incredibly oh. stupid. Yeah. This is why I like playing games like this with someone who's better at it. That makes I can just go, what's wrong? And they go, this, this, this. But when I'm the one who everybody asks, I'm like, I don't know. I spent two days going, uh oh. oh. the system they changed the um the domain on the system. Absolute nightmare. Oh. Uh, is it one of those it it works. Don't touch it. Don't 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 optimize it. Leave it alone. Because I get that with people. Yes. They they'll optimize yeah. stuff that's fine. I'm like, just leave it. They're like, oh guess I'm like, just don't worry about it. It's not broken. Just don't touch it. You know, there are definitely don't better break, don't fix it, yeah. Yes, yeah, so we have 496 tonnes to destined for Fufingford Factory, which is... There, I, I, I'm... 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 Because Major Willy Wood 2 is on its way back now. Let's see if that one's a bit happier. I have been a little dota, by the way, just parked up in a uh, depot and could do a fixing, replacing. Deleting. Oh, I'll make you willy with too. Oh, well, I see what's going on. You do? Not not Wedge Wedge Wood, but there's ah. Joffrey. He's going to a depot where the lights only let you get out. Oh, uh, I meant to remove that order from Joffrey. I I, I, I tried to delete the depot. That's oh, okay. Just just have to... No, no, it's fine. just need to sort the light out. And I've lagged out again. Great. Oh, someone's connecting. Fine. Ah. Oh, it's because I'm showing up. Tad, why am I trying no, to okay. I'm having problems as well. No, no, it's because Tad just connected and <clears> everyone freezes up. There we go. Let's all the other ones out as well. There's a light there on the round wrong way. Okay, so Major Willywood 2 is pulling in. 17%, yeah. 34%, 50%, 66%, 83%, 100%. Leaving. Bye-bye. Right, I'm cloning that thing yeah. then. The war wagon urgently needs replacing. Oh, no. There's no automated way to do that, is there? Yes. Um, I, so what, what, what vehicle is it? Like, what is it? it? Said war wagon. What is it? And though? tardy box. But what is uh, it? They, I think they're buses. buses. What buses? Almost certainly buses. Specifically, yeah. what kind of bus is it? A, a, so if it is a Hereford Leopard bus, there is no upgrade for it yet. Broken down. Show vehicle stats. Leopard. Yep. Yeah, there's no upgrades for it. A 21 year old Leopard bus. So this is one of the problems with the game. This bus was introduced in 1965, and there are no upgrades for it. Okay, so Major Willie with mm. three is destined for. Oh, you've just said it. <laughs> Delete. Major Willie with three, uh, four needs to turn around somewhere. Yeah, there, there really isn't anywhere. I should probably implement that. Let's do that here. I have a few turnarounds, just on the basis that occasionally trains will. It's usually when they decide uh, to, to yeah. serve themselves at a depot. Like they'll just they'll just go the the opposite way to the way they go normally because it's time for them to uh, service. And this is no good for Major Willie with three, but uh, it's fine for everybody else. Oh. 
But I hate to say it, but I really think that Major Willie Wood may have been broken. Also beginning to regret calling the train that. <laughs> That's... Yeah, Major Willie Wood 3 should now do a Yui. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so in this particular game, uh, Jay, Jay, we're playing this as a single team co-op. So the last, so we should probably do it in teams as well. Now there are there are, you can play it however you like really, but we're, this particular playthrough is um, uh, fully co-op. Last time Schalke did an, an interesting approach, which was to play a massively multiplayer version of it, where I had one company and he had seven or eight, and just saw which one did the best. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a, a definite shotgun approach to it. Certainly uh, let you cheat a little bit more than you expected to. Well, didn't help him though, did it? No, he's <laughs> a smuggly. Part of the goal of this was to curious to see how quickly we could get to a thousand. We are currently running at... 729. We don't have enough vehicles, but what's hurting us the most is our minimum profit is zero. What are those buses? Just delete them. Well, the thing is, their buses... The eight buses. If buses, buses are, are feeders, they're good. It's when buses aren't feeders that they become a problem. Bottom feeder. Why is the same child profit loss here minus 14,000? Sat there waiting for someone to feed. What? Yeah, I was, I was, child's lost for two years running now. Oh, it's just... Yeah, so that's a feeder service with nowhere near enough buses servicing it. Yeah, you should get it onto the actual... Oh, wait, no, hold on. It's got, no, it's, it's got, no, it's got a train servicing it. Wait, what's going on? Okay, this seems to be balls. Yes. Like, Gallifrey should now pop drop in. Wormtum should drop in a whole bunch to Gallifrey. There is an endgame U1 goal, which is to hit a company rating of 1,000. When you, if there are multiple companies at the end of 2050... The company with the, the has the highest rating wins. If multiple companies, oh wait, I assume one time was a loop. Okay, is Saruman? At, oh, Saruman is the. I think I know what's wrong with Saruman. Yeah, Saruman's on a loop with. Oh dear, Shalka, you bad man. Saruman is on a loop bad with. Man. Yeah, it's on a loop with no depots. That's why it hasn't been upgraded. <clears throat> It was brand new. Yeah, but it's not brand new. It's an SH40, but it doesn't have any depots. That's why it's not been automatically upgraded. The gasp. I'm just trying to work out. Yeah, because um, Matrix needs to be supplied with an awful lot more trains. Oh, and uh, Gallif yeah, Gallifrey... Yeah, Shaka, um, can you go to Gallifrey, please? Specifically the train station at Gallifrey. Yeah, I'm can you press, on it. press X to see transparent? Yeah. Why are no trains going to Gallifrey? Because I have not pressed go or no, the depot. No, no. Why are no trains going to Gallifrey? Press X to make go transparent. Zoom in on the Gallifrey train station. Uh-oh. Which one? Of those? <laughs> uh, Gallifrey, the Gallifrey train station. Not new Pooborn or Matrix. Oh, it's, yeah, it's not connected. That would be what it is. But why do you need to? Because you can go to new Pooborn North. No, because trains won't go there. There's a train with orders to go there that'll be like, I don't know. That's why Wormtongue <laughs> has just gone, ah, oh, let's allow. out. <laughs> like he, it's just, Wormtongue's, I don't know what it was trying to do, but it's stupid no matter what it is. Thing is, it, 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 it's, I jest, of course, it, it is very easy to derp and not connect something up. Which is why I normally, when I've built yeah. something, this is why I keep the trains on a pop-up window. That's why I have usually just dozens of trains that pop-up windows, so I can keep an eye on them going, why has this train decided to stop going? Okay, I did wonder why Worm Tongue had just buggered off, but now I know why. Uh, 
I don't find the road, so let's meet. Well, no, Worm Tongue. Road. Worm Tongue Go went. To world. Worm Tongue went. New people north. Hey, new bus. Ooh, I'll, new I'll, bus. I'll get that sorted. That'll help a lot. Fifty-five miles an hour and thirty-five passengers to seventy miles an hour and thirty-seven passengers. Okay, Black Forest is now empty. So what I've been doing is I've just been bringing up the um, uh, the station fullness and just starting at the top. So like our biggest problem is Bone Crusher. There's too much mail at it. Oh, well, we have a train broken down going into the depot. Goodness sake. When we get service that breaks down. I think, I think that should be disabled. That's stupid. If it's going in for a service, then it's going to make its way far enough to get service, surely. You'd think, but but no. Right, I'm going to make a train with a lot more uh, vehicles. Nineteen pound income. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so I've got a much larger mail train. Next issue is Deathloop, which has too many goods in it. Oh my lord, it's this. Oh good lord, okay. Wow. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 oil trains servicing it. Good. And one goods train, not good. Oh, yeah. I knew I forgot something. Why is there a station in the middle of nowhere? Because it's Ooh. cool. Muturisa. It accepts nothing, so why is it even there? It's possible there was a... Um, uh... Oh, so, uh, so, yeah, an industry closed. We yeah. didn't service it. There is a station called something like Rusty Old Station. Good naming, Schalke. Uh, and that's what happened to that one. Yeah. So the celebrate first train arrives at Gallifrey. <laughs> first train arrives where? Gallifrey. <laughs> they had never been serviced up to this point. Is there anything coming to service Drinball Mines, by the way? Uh, well, if you click on Drinball Mines and then click on the little picture of a train, it will show you. So there's one train and that made no profit. <laughs> Oh, I made the profit last year. There's only one train servicing it. I'm like, why is there two trains servicing it? I should put another one in. Yeah, essentially, if if there if a if a station is busy, it's always it's never a problem to just make more trains. Like as long as it's going to make profit, you can go wild. Until such point is you know you're overdoing the uh, design. There's a limit of 500 trains, by the way. Are we at 500 for the limit? Nope. No, no, like, there is a limit, but I don't know what we've got our set to. Oh, I don't know. Uh... Oh, 500 trains per company. Yeah, but I can increase that. Essentially, that's just a throwback to the... I mean, the original game, was it 100 trains it limited you? No, it limited you to 512 carriages in total. So when you got rich playing it um, in uh, multiplayer, you would just buy up loads and loads and loads of them because that was the best way to um, uh, drive other people out of business. Um, I'm just going to replace, uh, Tad, all of your 15-mile-an-hour oil tankers with 25-mile-an-hour oil tankers. Look out, people. Getting oh. into the big times. We also yeah. we also only have one train, a plane, which is. Um, Chowkirk, do we have decent size airports so I can put you put Yate Haugen's on or or not? Because you have an airport. We have some token airports. That doesn't. I don't know how we're gonna do passenger high capacity thing or not. Well, I'm gonna upgrade that plane anyway. And if it blows up, it blows up. <clears throat> Hopefully, it won't. The only reason it was a problem last time was when it blew up is because. Um, <laughs> Why is there a passenger train coming here? What the fuck? Ah, 
Um, they've just added a new game to my motion platform called Red Rover, which I've never heard of. Sorry, say again. It's a new mo game on motion platform called Red Rover, which I've never heard of. Oh, a Mars driving, a Mars driving simulator. That sounds very much like the game I'm writing. Oh my god, that looks like my stuff. That that genuinely looks like something I've written. That looks awful. Someone stole it off the Discord. Unlikely. This looks shit. <laughs> oh. Like I was working on something that looked remarkably similar to this, but oh my god, that is so bad. VR and motion platform, though. Let's right, see so if I can make that a little bit faster. Tons of money. Yeah. So if we want to restructure, it's pretty free at this point. Um, well, yeah, but I'm not really. I mean, the only place I'd like to restructure is here. But if I did that, um, the boats wouldn't fit. So, yes, it's a Yacht Haugen, which is a Concorde. Trard Head Oil cannot find a path to continue. Uh. What port? Oh, yeah, okay. Where's the bird? Yeah, this is... Oh. Yeah, this is a location I would make bigger, but unfortunately someone... Balls it up by, their names. by putting well, it would have been Tad or Schalke, um <clears throat> Put a dock there, so I can't actually make oh. it bigger. Very so, much uh, safer uh, than modesty there. Now I yeah. actually, I actually fixed it. the oh. the station only worked with one platform, not two, so that's now fixed. Huh? What? What's the uh? Actually, that said, I think I can make uh -huh. I think I can make it slightly bigger. I think I can probably fit one more uh, platform in as soon as this train comes out. Oh. As ever, the moment you have more trains than platforms, life starts to get difficult. And this particular one is a two-station train, two-platform two station. We're like. Uh, eight trains servicing it. Now, do they like us? Yeah. Well, they don't hate us enough to stop us. You should. Wow, that is factory idle levels of, of usage right there. Uh, rec room runs without a headset. I don't know if we're doing rec room tomorrow. I, 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 the problem is I like charades, and that's great, but I, I want to I wanna tweak it a bit more. As Max said, I want, I want to put in like a f five minutes. I want, I want to make sure you get the answer rather than if you don't get it within about 10 seconds, you're, you're probably not going to. Someone knocked the... Uh... What? Someone's Going knobbed. down. What's, what's been knobbed? Okay, lights are run the wrong way. Um, on a bit of track. Uh, possibly. Oh man, we okay. are. We have a lot of places with a lot of stuff. Food from Food Factory is full again. Yeah. Um, I could edit the game to Nara, but I don't have spare time to do things like that. There we go. Put the lights around the right way it does help. 
Uh, what are we stopped here for? He stopped because he stopped because he stopped because he stopped because he hasn't got a path through to the other station. He's the knob engine for the track. Oh, we've just gone past. Let's just put a piece of track in there. And put a better signal. Uh, what's going on with Roman Gladiator 3 there? Yeah, old McDonald's is uh, struggling. E I E I O. Why is it he going to the other station? Seven hundred and sixty two bags of valuables. That's amazing. How do I make it go the other direction? There we go. And I've just sorted out Old McDonald's farm a little bit there. That's better. There we go. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Trying to solve problems and it's like, yeah, I'm going to break down here. Why? Just why? Because they can. But yeah, I thought about that for, uh, what was it? Uh, tabletop Simulator, about doing my own one. And then I'm like, oh, I just, I don't have time. No. Oh. This train's trying to load up from a farm that doesn't exist. Well, that would do it. <laughs> well, there's your yeah. problem. Yeah. To the service it sooner. Yep. Yeah. The great, the great TP. Having a terrible TP. time. TP for a monghorn. Dar oh. Okay, who's trying to be super clever with with? Oh, this roll row, roll row, roll row. No other types of station. Stop doing them. I don't know who did Tronningly Woods, but don't do it. Roll row, not in and back out around. And sometimes it works. Just, just, just stop trying. You saved yourself two minutes, if that, and all you've done is bollocks it up. Stop doing it. Whoever it is, doesn't Where is work. This? I'll find out who you are. Yeah. Every station, roll on, roll off. Stop trying to have trains go in and come back out. It doesn't work. And when it does work, it's like 50 times slower. Uh. So that means that that train couldn't proceed. So what would happen is the other train would have just driven up to it in the other direction. And don't have these 90 degree corners Explosions. as well. Explosions. Again, saving t five seconds in making your track is not helpful. Spend longer making decent track. So you don't have to come back to it. The only reason that you do do, uh, do do, uh, that you do do, um, yeah, do, 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 do. Yeah. very short, you know, travel like that is when you're in a hurry and then you go back to it as soon as it's done, or you don't have enough money. But not at this point. We're rich. <gasps> All right, I think I'll fix this. Rich, I say. Whatever it is. Uh. But I don't know what the fuck's going on with these signals at Tronning Me Mines. That's not me. I'm going to blame you. That's fine, but I don't even know where this is. I don't want any of your excuses. And and you said mine. It's not oil. I already know it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be realistic here. The only time you do a terminus is when you are in absolute trouble and you cannot get um, into a um, uh, a busy uh, station in any other way. That's the only time a terminus is acceptable. Otherwise, it is always a regretful decision. 
stitch. Do you, uh, Shaka, do you have a st- saying in Finnish that says uh, an equivalent in the English one of a stitch in time saves nine? As in, uh, if there's a problem, you should solve the problem early rather than late, or you it's not actually efficient to do it. So what's the idea? Uh, so a stitch in time saves nine. So the, the, the straightforward um, version is basically if you have a hole in your, you know, you have a, a, a something in your trousers, like a, a, a tear. If you fix, if you put one stitch in it now, you fixed it and the tear won't grow. So you don't need to end up um, making it, uh, putting more stitches in. So a stitch now is better than doing nine stitches in the future. So a stitch in time saves nine. I realise this is a, a saying about repairing trousers. Yeah, my associations are a little different. There's an idea about trust things that involves trousers and <laughs> not getting to the uh, toilet in time. Uh, yes, I suppose that, that, oh, that no. that's fitting. As the other, the other one is, it's a lazy man's load where you're carrying lots of stuff and you end up dropping it because you want to do it all in one trap. So Saruman was lost. High Council no longer accepts mail. Oh, oh. Don't name trains the Titanic. That's just asking for trouble. <laughs> 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 It's like calling Aren't your... they trying to sail that again? Yeah, but not the same one. I mean, but it's like yeah, call... they were it's... saying that the old one's about to fall apart finally. Oh uh, well, maybe it's been at the bottom of the ocean for bloody hell, whatever it's a hundred years or something. But it's like call... it. it's like calling your boat the unsinkable. Really? Was when, when did it sink? Nineteen twelve. Why do you know that? Because I studied at school and it's the same year my nan was born. Why did they teach you that at school? It was one of the things we studied. Ah. And the, and the folly of man's hubris for not putting on enough lifeboats? Or, or just, uh, hey, this will be a good film one day. <laughs> I can't remember now. I think maybe I chose to look at it. I don't know. Well, I mean, given where you are, because it sailed from Portsmouth, I think. I don't know. Alexa? Where did Titanic's final voyage start? Here's something I found on the web. According to blurtit.com, what? The Titanic's starting point was Southampton. Ah, Southampton. Alexa, stop. What the fuck's blurt.com? The site that gave you your answer. Yeah, but. You ungrateful fuck. If I've never heard of it. (laughs) Thanks. (laughs) Thanks, blurt.com. Mm. I cannot believe how many goods trains I'm having to put onto Foofinford Factory. The idea is I want goods trains stopped at Foofinford Factory waiting for stuff to come in. But instead, I have a constant flow of um, uh, goods trains, uh, of non-goods trains doing it. Delivery, you mean? Yeah, like there are more. The delivery is happening quicker than the. Um, uh, I have a hard time believing Bone Crusher isn't like the biggest city on the planet by now. What really? is it doing? Uh, Bone Crushers. Bone Crushers. Well, I mean, Pinning Head. No, it's not very big. Yeah, but there's there's been nonstop trains going through this town since we started. Uh, only one station left. If you want something to go quickly, you have to have. Eight stations, I think it is. Really? I, I can't remember. Um, no. uh, open TTD optimal town growth. There's a uh, also some towns become some towns become cities. Right. Town growth five five. Uh, so for every within a fifty day period. You need to unload or load one item of cargo up to five stations. So if we had five stations there, it would do better. But if you unload more than one per station, no. you're already doing better than what it's asking for, I would assume. No, it's, it, it's essentially, if you want to go quickly, there are ways to do it. Um, you just have like a little loop of trains. I love the way we're using Tej for um, 
coal mining. Oh my god, if we st am I going to have to clone another goods train? I've just cloned three, and they've all left, and they're all full, and there's still goods waiting. <laughs> Where is this? Foofingford Factory. Foofingford. Yeah. Foofingford has 27 trains servicing it. What? Ah. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Unfortunately, Shaka, you made um, Gallifrey's too short. So, train 81 can't fit because um, worm tongue is one tile too long. If I make worm tongue shorter, that should actually unmess that up. Oh, I see what uh, you're saying. That is a lot of goods. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I've learned this the hard way. Basically, again, you're like, oh, I'll, 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 be, I'll, I'll have a slightly shorter train or a slightly shorter station, and it never works out. But yeah, it was just slightly too long to fit in. And without, uh, I will also in uh, remember local authority. Build statue wherever possible. Build a statue. It's half a million. Where the fuck are you going, worm tongue? There's one right there. Hi. Right. Who come the naming system? Um. Uh, Schalke is being particularly, uh, what's the word, high fantasy about his 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 uh, place names. Memes. Um, Max and I tend I to go with right. horrendous innuendos. And Andy, Andy's, I think Andy's the creator one. Personally, for me, Andy is the best namer of trains. <laughs> Are you sure? Well, tell him, man. Man, that's a lot of track with no signal. But yeah, I was one. I'd like to have a VR game what on the uh, on the rotation, but uh, Rec Room annoys me. It's the same way that Tabletop Simulator annoys me because I'm playing it going, this could be so much better than it is. But like, for instance, I mean, Beat Saber supports multiplayer, but I don't think Max or Rob could do that without hurting everything. <laughs> I mean, you... yeah, it's not, it's not as bad as Gorn. <laughs> there is a maybe Finnish idiom about having 10 birds on a branch versus having one in your shed. Uh, yeah, a bird. We have a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Which is. So it's really similar. Well, yeah, but I mean that assumes that you're gonna what wait for the other two birds to have sex and then take the baby birds and then like what what what, what is the saying trying to say here? It's better... just quick. It's, what, if you've got one in your hand, you're better off than having two. You have to go to catch or something like that. It's very abstract. You're gonna fly and away and you're not gonna no, catch them. But it's the other way around, Your opportunity it? is an opportunity and not a certainty. I thought burn in the hand was worth two in the bush meant that if you've if you've got one, that's it, you've got one. A burn in the hand. If you have two in the bush, you don't have any birds. Yeah, but I can even if you think you do. Yeah, but one bird in my hand is worth twice as much as two birds I don't have. Anyway, um it is better to hold on something one has than to risk losing it by trying to attain something better. Well break the bird's neck in your hand, <laughs> then go and get the other bird from the bush. Stupid say. Do I play text to speech? Terrible. Um, we did the tabletop simulator, but it was more... When it worked, it was brilliant, wasn't it? it when it worked, when we, we found a couple of games that worked really well, and they were great. In amongst about 40 or 50 games that just didn't, in a lot of ways. I mean, like, we couldn't find a version of Secret Hitler that worked at all, for example. And that's Hitler's plan all along. What is this fucking mess at Tronningly Mine? I was having a loop there, but I don't understand yes. why it's. Uh, yeah, that's because that was the bizarre ass one way system. It's fine. So we, we exit from the top left and we exit. We enter from the top left and exit from the bottom right. It's fine. But it's breaking the rules. The trains travel on the left. And they're not, well, that's not two lanes, so that's fine. 
Oh, I didn't do the dual it's carriageway bit. No, the trains are yeah. travelling on the left oh. of the dual carriageway bit. Yeah, I've had to stop Titanic because it's trying to get to the um, uh, steel mill, but it's only kept, it's got wood on it, but it's got no, not going anywhere near a wood thingy. Anywhere near a set of a wood. Woods. Uh, yeah. Trying to meet wood. Oh. Yeah, Shaka. Is gone. Yeah, Shaka, you might need to fix Titanic. Brian is absolutely correct. There's also a, a, there's a light stopping it. Ah. There's a well, light that's plugging it. Well, it's not broken. Um, it's carry. It's a wood train going to an iron depot, iron ore mine. Can I search by name? Uh, I yeah. Uh, well, what, what are, you, are you trying to find Titanic? Yeah. The easiest way to find Titanic is to bring up the station list. And then bring up uh, Tronningly Mines, and then click on the trains that service Tronningly Mines. There, it, I, the the train list is fundamentally sorted by um, uh, name. <coughs> right, it's, it's it's not particularly user friendly. But yeah, I like the concept of tabletop simulator far far more than I like the actual implementation, which just isn't very good. Yeah. Like, too often we would accidentally, yeah, yeah, flip the table, ha ha, yeah. But sometimes you just, like, explode all your cards all over the floor. I'm like, I didn't, I, I didn't what, what button is this? Or, or, or chuck stuff about. And they, they needed to stop putting new shit in and make the, the basic stuff sing. And it doesn't. It's clunky as all hell. Uh, trains travel on the left. Right, there we go. Yep. Yeah, but given how many copies it's sold and how much money it's made, um, I don't have any sympathy for. I I have sympathy for. I had sympathy for Valheim for the first couple of weeks, but. We've been playing Valheim for five or six weeks and it still says you are out of arrow and stuff like that. I have no sympathy when that sort of shit does not get fixed. You could eat another bite. Oh my god, Trod Head East it has 2,000 passengers, 700 bags of mail, 4 million litres of oil, 980 valuables and no trains waiting at it. Uh, I think the Titanic is made of steel. Oh. It looks a lot like a tree thing, but I think it's steel equipped. And I'll sort by name. Why is that text so small? I feel old looking at that text. I'm at 1440p and it's like a tiny pixel font. Titanic. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, you're quite correct, Max. You're a tit. <laughs> if you hit capacities, it's steel, not wood. But, to be fair, I looked at it and went, oh, yeah. Okay, Saruman. I know why Saruman can't head to, head to Trenzalore, because that's the wrong franchise. <laughs> the fuck's Trenzalore? Sorry, sorry, man. I'll fix it. Forge of the Dawn Father. It'd be Forge of the Dawn Chat. Oh, I don't know, it's Dawn Father, I think. It's not something I've ever heard of. Yeah. 
I think I heard it in a D and D campaign. It's just super narrow. Yeah, didn't they? Haven't they made nearly all of the Narnia films now as films, or Narnia books as films? Because right. they. Oh, I have no idea. Because um, I believe they're one of the most. It's weird. So they're one of the most um, high-performing series of films that, like, no one really heard of them. Yeah, they've done uh, Lime Witch of the Wardrobe, Prince Caspian, and Voyage of the Dawn Treader, and then they stop. But, like, they were up there. Four out of seven. Yeah, but, like, they between them, they've made, like, nearly $2 billion. So you look at film series... Yeah, I know. This is what I mean. You're like, oh, right. Well, uh... Wow. But it's one of those, it's like, it's like Roblox. You've, you've basically heard of Roblox. And then you go, sorry, how much money has it made? What the fuck? Like, apparently there's some... There's <laughs> you some, had your chance. Well, apparently there's some girl, yeah. um, like a Roblox creator, and she's made like 150 million out of selling her stuff. I was like, 150 million? There's a news story popped about it earlier. And I was like, wow. Yeah, Roblox. We paid off our uh, parents' mortgage. Uh, where is that? Oh, I can't find it. But yeah, Roblox is, is just, it's weird. No one really talks about it. People still talk about Minecraft. Uh, Minecraft is still one of the biggest games, but no one talks about Roblox. Oh my goodness, where well, we have a traffic jam of Right, why? Wait, what? We have a traffic jam because Tad's oil train is being freaking dumb. Did somebody make a... Uh... Yeah, be very careful not to put railway lines down. You must build electrified. Now, that might have been me. Oh. Oh. Tad's oil train says no power. Maybe. Oh, wait. But let me just... Uh... Yeah, that may have been me, actually. But, you know, it's a good reminder. <gasps> yes. I made that mistake when I first jumped on. I was like, wait a minute, something don't look right. Oh. Yeah, so why is... Oh, Coltrane is... Someone made Coltrane stop. Don't do that. Why, is that... why are these trains all stopped? I got, I got bored, distracted. Because it's cool? No, 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 no. They've been forced to stop. I've been stopping the ones that are absolutely fucked. Oh. Well, no, they're not fucked. It's just one train that's fucked. And now, can you, can you unstop all the stopped ones? I only have one that's stopped. The doorless one. Doorwish one. Uh, no, Woodchucker is stopped. Uh, not mine. Um, and Humui is stopped. And Wormtongue is stopped. Not mine. Oh, uh, wait. Is this just a UI issue? I think this might just be a UI issue. I'm trying to work out how to get these trains to come out the right side of this bloody loop at, at forward to the dawn file. They shouldn't really be going round to the left, they should be going round to the right. Um, but that means I've got to negotiate a hill, which I don't want to negotiate. Yeah, I've got loads and loads and loads of trains just stopped. Like, not, not waiting, they're set to stop, and I don't know why. Like, um, Long Good 7 is set to stop. Definitely haven't done more than about two trains. And one of them has been... One of them's Titanic. No, I think it's um, loading. <laughs> Tad Tannock. How are you doing anyway, Tad? Have you got over the uh, the joke from yesterday yet? Or have you start giggling if I say Albacore? The answer is no, I'm going to give like a two year old. Yeah, this, yeah, Major so can you can you guys just look at Major Willywood, please? To me, he's stopped. Like he's been told to stop. Or is it just an know, interface know, issue that I've got? Right. Uh, no, there isn't a start all trains button I'm aware of.
I wonder if they were just waiting for a free path for so long they decided to stop. But they're still waiting. Well, no, because the, the front one was set to stop. Like, it wasn't waiting, it was told to stop. That's how things happen here. Long Goods 8 is... Uh, no, it's not Long Goods 8, it's... Uh, Long Goods 5? What's... Ah, oh, that's this way. Yeah, because Long Goods 4 has stopped. Like, it's all the ones around Fuffenford Factory. There's just dozens of trains set to stop, and I don't know why. Again, uh, Tardhead... Tardhead... Trad, Tradhead Oil 4 is just set to stop. It should be going now. Gerard. But is there not a... Uh... Oh no! Somebody is willing to play a crown. So I must seize this opportunity and play that the gate old game. Okay. I will possibly see you tomorrow for um I forgot what we're doing tomorrow. Oh my god, this is so much track. What direction is this stuff going? But I'd like to find something VR that's good for the uh, for the rotation. We just don't have anything. Yeah, I know, but I, I said, Rec Room, it's one of those that when it works, it's all right. And when it doesn't work, it's shit. It's not like when it works, it's brilliant. It's like, yeah, this is all right. So, for example, charades, there's nothing wrong with it fundamentally, apart from the fact you can't, like, set how long a round is. Or um, stuff like that. So, you know, I, we, we've basically been playing. I'd like to play it with, like, five-minute rounds. So you're up there getting more and more, like, for fuck's sake, why aren't you getting this? Rather than you get to draw one thing, and if you're too slow, then that's it, you're done. Go on. Wow, Trad Tradhead is seriously having a... Yeah, Minecraft multiplayer, I'll, but I won't play Minecraft on stream for reasons of completely obvious. <laughs> Playing Minecraft on stream. <laughs> How would you like your fingernails? I would like them in 300 flavours, please. Okay. It's a difficult train. Should have gone... Ow. I've just put another bunch of trains on trad, trad head, trad head, trad head. Oh. Oh dear. Right, what's wrong with Effie train then? Oh, why have we had an explosion? Huh? Someone trapped a train at me trying to get it out uh, at a long time. Yeah, what the fuck, Dan? I'm cloning them. Okay. There you go. Yeah, connect. Someone trapped it with one-way signs. Um, no, it wasn't trapped. It looped around that way, it looped around this way. Oh, it very much was. And then looped down here. Um. Now that... Because there's an in, there's an me. there's an in, yeah I I did I mean I put one way side there if it was trapped I mean the solution is to well to fix it but not however you did it I didn't even spot the message about the explosion but yeah, I, this 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 none of this line had no, signals because on because everything's losing profit All right so what's Epi Train's uh, excuse headed for Rusted Over Station oh right well goodbye Epi Train forever then. Uh. 
Yeah, the thing is, it's... I, I mean, I, the thing is, I want to play a game... Like, so No Man's Sky is a good example. If No Man's Sky is a game that I like playing in 2D, it's even better in VR. It's way better in VR, obviously, because you're like, holy shit, this is... I'm there. I'm actually exploring another galaxy. Um, whereas The Forest, like, I wouldn't play it in 2D, so why would I want to play it in VR? I don't want to play it just because it's got VR. I want to play it because it's fundamentally good. Wait, is this a passenger train going to Woody Woodpecker? Oh, why has this got... How has this got a thousand passengers? What's going on? And I guess that's part of the, the problem, is there aren't that many... There are some. So Air Mech, for example, is freaking awesome in VR. It's a good 2D game. Uh, Defense Grid is a, oh, it's just superb in VR. One, one of the most sublime VR games I have ever played. Um, but those are unfortunately few and far between. And I, it does annoy me that None of the game like so basically we've got VR we've got VR we've got Forza and we've got Wreckfest and they're both brilliant and we both play them on stream and they're great games lots of depth tons of stuff to do motion platform support and no VR and I I, under, I, I do understand that you know you don't want to put VR in all games because it's a lot of extra effort but not for a fucking racing game it's not all you have to do is well you have to do anything just don't have any keyboard controls um. No, I mean, I'm always on the lookout for writing games that I would play if I hadn't written them. And that's quite a hard thing to achieve sometimes, surprisingly. Ah, out by one. Oh, I can't anything else. Like, the vast majority of the games that I have written, I wouldn't play. Some I have, some I would, some I love. Like, I love playing Fortress. I think Fortress great. I love it. If, if I said, if I didn't hadn't written Fortress Craft, I would play the shit out of it and bug the guy who wrote it to put more stuff in the game. <laughs> Which isn't going to work anymore with Fortress Craft now. <laughs> but, like, with... Um, I mean, I realised that all of the games that we've been playing recently can all be summed up as we're driving around in great big trucks quite slowly, or in Wreckface's case, quite quickly. But the, the, <laughs> the, the thing they all have in common is super duper awesome physics. And I'm like, hmm. Hmm. Oh, I physics with an F. No, no, have you not seen the, the videos I did? Yeah. Have you not seen the videos? I linked one. I, I linked the video. Look at the video I linked at. Uh... Oh, God, people might farming. I'll just relink it. Oh, good video, by the way, Shalka. I watched it. I linked... Um, I wasn't... I, I linked uh, the, the beginning of it. There was a brilliant bit at the beginning where you... Uh, we just span all of it out. That was awesome. Yeah. I'm getting it on. Uh, yeah, you, no, you linked um, the, the train. But right at the beginning, we just span all of it out. It's beautiful. You just watch him just spin and then just fall over. There's a couple of videos there, Tad, of the... Uh, Ooh, look at that. That's pretty. But pretty much, I looked at the Spin Tires trailer and went, not only A, can I copy that, but B, I could do better than that. It's a sad now, indictment. Well, no, I mean, the, remember, to be fair, Spin Tires is reasonably old now. Now, I can't do better the than... technology's better now. Yeah. I, but I can't do better than SnowRunner. I'm not even intending to try. SnowRunner is... It does have some flaws, but they're all pretty much all summed up as the multiplayer is a bit weird sometimes. Everything else is perfect about that game. <laughs> it really, really is. Right, what are you doing? Waiting for free path to where? What? We'll go down there. What? Oh, there we go. Fixed. But yeah, I've had my rover game going for a long time. There's a mode in Adapter where you get to drive a rover around a um, uh, a procedurally generated landscape, and that's that is what the basis of this is. Is is that tech demo that I wrote uh, 
a long time ago. Uh, and I, I've actually worked out, due to the, some of the, the discussions around Sub Commander, I've worked out a a good, unique gimmick. That's ah, is brilliant. It really is brilliant. I love it. But it's not unique. It's it's Mud Runner. It's Spin Tires. It's yeah, there are other games of that ilk. But I, I do actually have a small ace up my sleeve, which is actually, as far as I know, a unique feature. And that's come about because also we do all these uh, these multiplayer streams. So I've been thinking a lot more about multiplayer games than I have previously. Right, there we go. What are you doing, you stupid train? Fine, I'll put What's happened? Oh, I, I basically I deleted a piece of line so train would have to go round rather than through, so it decided to go through. Oh, wait, where are you heading to, sir? So we've got... Uh, so Schalke's put two trains at He's Matrix, but unfortunately, they are. this isn't a real station. This is a station that relies on... It's a... Uh, what's it called? Like a... But, yeah, but unfortunately... All the trains there are waiting, not dropping off, and the station is full. Oops. Well, there's your problem. You got a thirty mile. That's not a problem. You use your mouth, Perry, and a two-dollar whore. Oh God, what was that from? Is that? Blazing saddles. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't disagree with games that kick you if you've got high ping. If you've got high ping and you're causing people grief, they, they should kick you. Going, just get out! What the fuck? Having the game decide at which point you are not fun. That's like fair. Rex Fest is just ridiculous. Like I've Rude. seen. Oh yeah, it doesn't like me at all. Yeah, but it, it has no real excuse to not like you. Oh my god! This is this is turning to this is turning to the what's it? Ca what, if I'm playing, is this Kessler syndrome where it, it's just all so we have a loop of trains, and they are 100% jammed up waiting for each other. Oh, <laughs> what is it? Uh, when I play um, Need for Speed Online, the new one, yeah, it tells me constantly that I have terrible ping, but it doesn't affect my gameplay whatsoever yeah i mean i don't, I don't go know how they <laughs> everyone else is screaming I oh. with yeah. game. I, I mean, enjoy I, it immensely yeah i mean i don't go near you and need for in live no, for speed because they just see me kind of teleport away yeah i know that go near you and live for speed because your cat your character your your car is jittering around so you're dangerous to be near in a corner so i just just say slightly away from you but in wreckfest like you you just never get around the track it just doesn't work I've gotten around the track once. <laughs> no, because uh, I figured out what its what its network is doing. Yes. Am I still here? You are, but oh. yeah, you, yeah. Yeah, I'm still here. But you didn't. You didn't. You... No, it it the ser Wreckfest server simulates everything. So when I put in uh, steering, it has to send that to the server. The server decides, okay, you're steering, and then sends back to me. Hey, you're steering. This is what it looks like, and I'm like, oh. Um, oh. it's not entirely. Um, Server controls everything. It, it, it it's not quite um server authoritative because that's not possible. You 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 can't do that. Um, there have been a few games that have tried and it doesn't work. But what it is, it will be saying, I think you're here, and then it goes, no 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 no, you're way too far away. You've obviously cheated, and then it will uh, slap you. So that's what's happened is you're moving so far between pings. But it's it's like no, you're cheating. That that's what it is, rather than being fully no, searched. No, but I'm not. Project. I'm trying like. Yeah, but it doesn't know what it's seeing between two uh, adjacent packets I from crash. you. It's like a hundred meter movement or two hundred meter movement. It's like nope, put you back to the last place I think you were at. No movement whatsoever. Yeah, but it's because it's seeing no, massive deltas from you, so it's going nope, don't think so. Which is fine. I understand why, but that's. I think it's pretty that sort of thing that should be set. It's definitely not server authoritative, or, or like Esmia, who has reasonably bad ping, wouldn't be able to play. Like you, you just, you just wouldn't. It's not a, a thing. 
Um, APB was a driving game with server authoritative driving physics. It wasn't possible. So when you steered, nothing happened for a you know, hundred milliseconds, and by that point you'd screw up the corner. It's it's the only game I know that's ever done that. Well, there's a lot of hype around that, wasn't it? Yeah, and it was. I mean, I played it. The vehicle physics were awful, and then I played a lady cop, and then I actually took off all my clothes and lost them, and I don't know how, and then I gave up playing. Uh -huh. I, 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 I don't know That's why. That's what he says, and I he's don't, sticking to it. I don't know why, why <laughs> yeah. my character is naked. That's the story. He's sticking to it. And I can't get my clothes out of the... Uh, my locker. The other thing about APB was was interesting. Um, so it was a cops and robbers game, and it was an MMO. And what it would do is you would do a mission, and you'd do a mission like uh, tag some graffiti, and then it would uh, essentially then find other players to do the other side of the mission to stop you doing it, which worked quite well. But then, as a policeman, I'm going to my uh, mission, and I see a fellow policeman being attacked by criminals, so I stop the car, protect him with my vehicle, and then start shooting them. But because I wasn't on his mission, I wasn't allowed to interact. So all these other players were simply graphics. There were stories that you could see, not things you could interact with. And so that didn't really work. And then it was the hilarious thing that the uh, if you were caught graffitiing, the police would just kill you. And I'm like, I I'm not sure about the proportional response going on here. Ah, uh, final life lesson. Well, it's set in Newcastle, so it's not if you can blame the, blame the uh, police. <laughs> Realism. <laughs> Uh, no, no GTA 5 multi, no VR. There there are VR hacks for it, but nothing official. What about um, Cyberpunk? Surely that's got enough budget to no. like, stick in something like that retrospectively. No. No. Well, they do, but they haven't. Oh my goodness. Let's be honest, that, game bar that game's barely runs even on 2D, let alone uh, with VR. Oh, well, that's basically life, actually. The bridge, uh, on my way to work this morning, I saw a bus um, with never for it on it. Really? In, Still? I'm in Newcastle. Mm -hmm. I, I, yes. I have the release date of 20th of December. Yeah, I, I, cause, I mean, obviously, I've been going to and from the arcade to my workshop there over uh, the course of the lockdown. It's brilliant seeing the super, super, super old um, adverts. I let you get adverts from, like, because no one's, no one's paying for bus adverts. It would be a particularly... Uh, yeah. Well, presumably they're either leaving them on or they have to strip the bus's adverts off and put you advert here or something. Yeah, but, but that would be a waste of money as well. Yeah. Okay, so I fixed Southern Superstation. That's now a, a raw row. Raw row. Oh, what, Scooby -Doo talking? Joffrey is completely wedged. What is happening? Uh, where's Joffrey? On the gold bridge next to Windington. Rendington. Uh, or Icy River Terminal. Icy, Icy River, thank you. Joffrey! Uh, where's Joffrey? I can't see Joffrey. On the bridge. Uh, what? What bridge? It's that short one at the front of the bridge. No, uh... Just what? The, the front of the massive line of trains. Where? It's uh... like... Where? Oh my god, there's like 50 Where? trains. Not at Icy River. Oh, wait, hold on, I clicked the wrong thing. No, okay, yeah. The that... Golden Bridge. Okay, so what's going on? That We're waiting on this train here. Yeah, so Joffrey has stopped. That's why. Like, stop. Not not waiting. <laughs> someone, someone has clicked stopped on it. This might be the last of the ones that were stopped earlier. I can't tell if it's a bug or what's going on. Definitely didn't. Didn't do that one. Well, no, but, but I mean, I've unstopped like a dozen of them. So unless you just had a, a mad stopping spree, I don't think it's that. <laughs> oh, no, you can do it within a window. There's a window you can do the uh, train stopping. In. Uh, the window, the uh, uh, train review reviewing panel, where it is. You can do it in that. So maybe someone went, uh, uh... let's look at this one. And was unwittingly stopping them, but not choosing to stop, not wanting to stop them. They were doing it by accident because they were trying to do something else. I don't, I don't know what. I don't know what incompetence, the, and I don't know what dialogue you mean. One that's got all the trains in it. If you go to the company trains, yeah. In there, you can inspect trains, but you can you can. There's also down in the corner there. You've got the the red 
the little green dots to start the vehicles, little red X to stop all vehicles, and you can also do centre servicing, centre servicing, and replace. Wait, wait. Oh, and the manage the list. No, the oh, start manage list. there is a start and stop all, isn't there? Click up, right, yeah. there we go. I've just clicked start all vehicles in the list. I didn't even know that was a button. Yeah, I did that when I was playing single player and nobbling all the. Um, I got that mod when we were enjoying so much and I saved it out and started nobbling all the enemies. <laughs> But yeah, all the trains that are lost, excuse you. Sorry. All the all the trains that are lost, I think we can definitely ignore. All apart from this train, utter completion is due. What are you doing? Cornholio two. Yeah, Cornholio. <laughs> I am Cornholio. Oh my um, god, I need another oil train. Oh shit. <sighs> Alright, this all seems to be going again now. All apart from other other completion, who is still doing what the fuck are you doing? Where are you trying to get to? Right there, okay, fine. Why are you trying to go that way? It's trying, it keeps trying to go driving the wrong way until one-way signal instead of just driving through. Wrong bit of track? N no. Berthamus Maximus? <sighs> I, mean, I can probably fix it by doing that, but I really shouldn't have to. Like, it is possible to break the route finding by having a bad enough route, apparently. <laughs> oh my god, what the hell is Cowgirl? Uh, sorry, which track is this? Cowgirl just did a 270 degree turn back on itself and then went, no, wait, that's stupid. <laughs> well, it is, but. Why does the Southern Superstation actually have nothing. It what? does, it has a couple. I, 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 I've just. I've oh, just my Ellen Bag. I, I, tied, I, I, tied oh. it, I tied it up a little bit earlier. Um, so yeah. just, there's nothing around it. I don't know where to take the um, the goods. Good taking the feather. Good feathers is probably best. We are. We're taking all the feathers and goods to. Bone... No, no. Tronning League Factory doesn't have anyone taking the goods yet. All right. Yeah. Take it to Bone Breaker. Uh, give me an idea where that is. Top right. A a absolute top right. Like the top rightiest, the rightiest town on the whole map. Oh bloody hell! Bone Crusher. Yeah. Top best. And remember, the further you take it, the more money you make. Bone Crusher yeah. has. How am I going to hook into that lot? Just, just. I mean, I would just tell it to go there and then see. Yeah, it. it's not even on the main network here. I've got to join the network uh, well, somewhere. That shouldn't be too hard. Okay, I'm just trying. I'm finding the route. Just finding plenty of track down here, so that's okay. Uh, oh, and then suddenly it runs out. All right, so I'm here. Okay. Gulag fill filler. Come on now. I didn't name that one. I think Hitler named that one. Cool, the queers on it. <laughs> I think that's what Hitler Wait, did. That doesn't make any sense. Sorry? I think Hitler just didn't like no. the Jews. It was just... all the queers. Did he not? All the people that opposed him yeah. in any way, shape, or form. Pretty much. Well, yeah. Well, obviously. Yeah, I, I was, that's, I was, it was it's well documented that he was just like, I don't like that sort of people. Get him out. I, I didn't know he didn't like gay people. You double on them? Oh, what, but he, how did he incentivize these people to even dump on people like that? Uh, by that's the right thing to do. N nationalism over patriotism. A true okay. German would, would not allow these people to live in our uh, sort of thing. The same sort, country. The same sort of rhetoric yeah. you get out of uh, the MAGA people. The what? Make America great again. Oh, sorry, I don't know you meant MAGA. We got a MAGA hat, Tad? Negative. I can, I can send you one. Does he need one? I'm good. <laughs> but think how much better you'd be with a Make America now Great Now you're asking the real questions. A Make America Great hat made in China. I love that. Was it Taiwan? Was it Mexico? I, it definitely wasn't made in um, uh, America. No. Yeah, make the UK go again. Oh, hold on, we fucked that completely. 
<laughs> it boggles my mind to a great degree that ARM was British and we sold it off. Like ARM, yeah. the CPU in virtually every single mobile phone on the planet is a British company and we allowed it to get sold off to the Japanese. So none of that's now British. Like what? 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 Who threw their brain in the bin that day? Well, no, I mean, the things we don't have any real laws stopping the sale of uh, that sort of thing. But, you know, uh, this is the thing. We're all going, oh, we're going to make Britain great again. It's like, what, we're going to have another arm coming up because that's not likely. <laughs> okay, I have a problem with Tad's oil train is just stop saying waiting for free par. But there's nothing in front of it. Um, I'm... I don't want to press the button. <gasps> Not the oh, button. It was going the wrong way. Okay. That's okay. Yeah, Gallifrey is a uh, a bit of a nightmare. So I'm trying to fix it up a bit. Yeah, I, I, exactly. Uh, but the point is that there have been few companies bigger than Arm to come out of the UK. And it's extremely unlikely we're going to get any more of that size. I mean, ARM is just enormous. Think positive, man. I, I, um, yeah, but... <laughs> I know what you mean. I know exactly where you come from. Just, yeah. You know, it sounds so negative doing it. Well, the you thing know, is... Some bastard sold off one of their most successful things yeah. ever. But, like, it's never going to... We're never going to get that level of success again. We hope. Well, no, we hope we do, but it's it's un <laughs> unlikely and extreme. So ignore yeah, stuff that's lost. I've just fixed some issues here, which should uh, hopefully have uh, ripple on effects. Come here. Pretty cool kid. Okay, death loop is filling up on. Uh... Oh, that's all right. Death loop's good. Oh. Apart from the exit, which is just a monstrous. Cl oh dear. Plinding head. What do you think of us? Just asking. Outstanding. Brilliant. What are you about to do to them? Uh, about to ruin their day. I really need to increase the size of the station. All right, we have we have so many trains and it's just not fitting. Right, I'm going to just pop other completions there because we do have a problem there. Ah, bugger, it's as big as it can get. Station 2 spread out. Which one? Bone Crusher. We, we just have too many trains servicing it. Um, oh, wait. Someone fun... Oh, whoopsie, that was me. I, I think I may have accidentally clicked and funded reconstruction. I meant to do build Statue of Compiera. Yeah, you, 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 you're tearing the place apart. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Pissing everybody off. I enjoy it too much. <laughs> Just giggling. <laughs> no, that, that was that was definitely a misclick. Train too long for auto renew. Yeah, that means you that so that means you've got a single headed train that you want to upgrade to a dual headed, which is going to be seven and a half. Yeah. Uh, Lucas Electrical. I don't know. The thing is, if you take all of the British car manufacturers there have ever been and added them all together, they don't come close to the size of what ARM has done. Wow. I can't think of any other um, particular notable examples of uh, major British stuff. Like that. Dyson? 
happy about they were this. Pretty, they were pretty up there with the ship building. Well, yeah, not for a while. Um, I don't know if that's actually that big. Oh. Four and a half billion pounds. Yeah, not really. All right, arm turnover. Let's have a look. Arm turnover. Uh, oh. <laughs> damn it, I just want the revenue. Yeah, they're all again in the definitely in the billions. I'm trying to actually get a decent. Uh, yeah, because they, they've yeah because in September 2020 they've sold themselves to Nvidia, like the chip but part of it. Right, so this is about as far as you can make a train go on this map. I'm interested to see if this actually makes any money. But done here, stopping and going to the other station. Just facing it. Uh... Oh, someone jiggered with my track. Oh dear. I think the correct term is could you could. Kajiga, 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 Kajiga. <laughs> Say it with me. <laughs> I actually quite like cards of that. I like the way that the the bad guy actually won, but no one, everyone's like, yeah, but it, you know, it was a non sportsmanlike victory. Because nearly always in films, the good guys win, and there are films yeah. where the bad guys win, and almost without a doubt, almost without exception, you finished watching the film, going, I really wish I hadn't watched that film now. Children of Men is my yeah. my go-to one. Um, in in many ways, it is a great film. You finish watching, it going, "Fuck me, I wish I hadn't." It's not a not a cheerful film. And it's not finished in a cheerful way. So yeah. Personally, I would say avoid that one. Okay, let's bridge that but I mean one thing the UK did have was some of the biggest computer games companies in the world for a very very long time we had we had because of to a degree because of the BBC micro but we just had um, some of the best games were developed over here but the British government did not really acknowledge or, or start to uh, adopt games as a as a way of you know, generating tax revenue and uh, things for a very long time uh, and by that point canada was basically if you write your game in canada we'll pay for it hence ubisoft canada um not even joking uh, for a long time canada would pretty much fund your game because it didn't matter because they were paying for the game um the company would make the profits and of course people who work for those companies and assassin's creed is a uh, sorry ubisoft the assassin's creed we're talking about a very big company there they would um they're obviously, obviously playing um income tax like all the employees so it's very very good for the economy but the uk government is still a bit ah computer games but it's not really as a, as a, as a, despite it being you know absolutely enormous revenue generator Wonder where Shoka put such short stations. Ah, uh, I think he was being hopeful. Oh well, we still making fifty million. Oh yeah, as long as your first set of uh, um, locos and uh, things are coal, you can't go wrong. There's no real fail state in this game. And as long, well, as long as you don't like do something completely ridiculous and start making enormous amounts of losses with a loss of trains, you just you just can't really go that wrong. So I'm having to develop quite a uh, ridiculous OTT out from Bone Crusher just to keep yeah, stuff. Yeah, I'm watching you do this. Just to keep stuff flowing. Oh my goodness. 
You can be as clever as you like, but at the end of the day, more track fits more trains. And it's usually easier <laughs> just to put more track down. Do we get rid of these signs, or do you want to keep those? No, that's to stop the uh, station, that, that's stop the town growing into it. Eh, why can't it? Uh, because then I, there is another solution for more station platforms, I just don't want to. Um, our game's taxed in any way, but not specifically. There are tax breaks available for game developers, which I do take advantage of and are an enormous pain Ooh. in the ass. Oh. Yeah. But like Rockstar got shouted at by the press for taking advantage of the tax breaks. And they're like, why wouldn't we? That's that's what tax breaks are for. We're like one of the bigger employers in the UK, for heaven's sake. Why would we not take advantage of this? You know, th again, the point is not about the company. It means that the company continues to pay employees. It doesn't matter how much profit the company makes. What matters is they've got, you know, 5,000, 10,000, however many employees all paying income tax. And they're taking care of their employees better because they're not paying the, the taxes to the government. Like, bro. Yeah. Um, so start tax. Oh, I like Rockstar tax evasion. Yeah, so between 2009 and 2018, Rockstar paid nothing in tax. Now, bear in mind, Rockstar is a developer and take two make the real money. But they claimed around 55 million, $42 million a pound in uh, corporation tax. But it's like, it's weird because they aren't, they're owned by an American company. So they're owned by take two. So, okay, so Ooh. they're not paying tax because they're not the ones making the money. The, the other company is. But basically, this article annoys me because I remember when it came out. It says that they estimate that Red Dead and GTA have made $5 billion. I'm like, yes, four, take two, who own Rockstar. But it's, um, I can't but remember it how. It doesn't make a good news article. No, I know. Yes. It's like when people go on about Amazon not paying taxes. And it's like, Amazon pay plenty of taxes. And they pay an enormous amount of um, uh, employee tax, you know, uh, um, uh, income tax there. Like enormous amounts, like mind-boggling amounts of tax. They also don't make profit. They're one of the few companies that don't make any profit at all. What they do is they put all of their profit back into improving the company. Um, and that means that they don't um, pay off shareholders and stuff. Let's go up. Let's go up there. Let's let's keep those separated as long as we can. Oh. Oh, are you sure? Yeah, but you, you've got the train coming out straight, so that's good. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, you can do something there. Yeah. It'll look real nice. <laughs> pretty. You're real pretty. Mm. But yeah, I, I, I still would like to have some VR titles to do. I just really don't have any to suggest. Wait, how come Bone Crusher's full of goods? Bone Crusher's where we take our goods. Oh my fuck. Oh. <laughs> no, wait, it's. Oh, it's oh it no, valuables. it doesn't take goods anymore. Fuck. Oh no. It takes valuables no. now. Fund new, fund new buildings. Hang on. It's because. It, no, it's because the town itself does not. Ex, does not. Um, accept goods Doesn't anymore. Like you anymore. No, no, they don't accept goods because the they buildings that accept goods they aren't nearby. They shrunk if slightly. You yeah. Drop down something. Yeah, yeah. I'll, see, I'll see if the I. Buildings can. that accept it are too far away. Just build a. Uh, if a I can. Goods depot and build a little goods truck. There we go. How about now? Or or thirty. Yeah. There we go. Accept goods. Nice. Yeah, because I rebuilt. I re. I um put all that money constructing the uh the roads sorry um demolishing and upgrading the roads by accident um that's what that's what caused <laughs> that dirt can we get the uh, valuables train up in here since it it's got a bank now uh and then this town's gonna take off uh you can run a valuable train but bone crusher is an extremely highly serviced station I just saw a train do a U-turn. Oh god. Where? Next to the ability to do a U-turn. 
Oh, I'm seeing another one do it. They're by the uh, red uh, bridges. Excuse me, sir. What are you doing? Uh, just making sure all routes... Oh, wow, that is a lot of trains, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh, that's why they're doing the U-turn, since the entrance was blocked. Oh, no. Blocked by... <laughs> Blocked by what? More trains. There's ah. just so many trains. That is an obscene amount of trains. What is this? Madness! This is Sparta! Well, we now have 22 trains at Bone Crusher. Wow, Dreddingbury Woods is not full of oil or wood. Wow. Nice. That's that's a first. It took a while. Fuffingford Factory though is still full of goods. Again, I I I I've put so many um, goods trains on here. I just expect there to be like f several goods trains waiting. God, I hope my leg is better tomorrow. Oh. You, you better tomorrow. My leg. Did you see Shazam? Yeah. Do you remember Shazam? Yep. Do you uh, remember? Do you remember the kid? It, um, the kid with the crippled Shaquille leg. Shaquille O'Neal did not do. Yes. Do you remember the kid with the, the gimpy leg? I've forgotten his name. I'm sorry. That's how I feel. Like I'm having to just sort of hobble around everywhere. Still can't bend it. It's just horrendous. This is what being old must feel like. <gasps> Bring your gimpy leg. <clears throat> <laughs> you know the the kid with the gimpy leg. I can't remember his name. Patrick, no. I really like Shazam, actually. Um, uh, he's one of DC's more interesting superheroes, and I'm surprised that they uh, uh, haven't done him before. I'm just going to Google. Gimpy Leg Shazam. <laughs> Gimpy legs. Special knockoff. I don't... <laughs> Gimpy legs, Shazam. Literally, though. Literally. I'm not making this up. I, that's good. Um, Freddy lives a dreary life in a, uh, than a down and that way from Victoria. He's stuck with a Gimpy leg. I'm glad it... <laughs> Gimpy yeah, Freddy is the star of the comic book expert with the Gimpy leg. Good. Uh, no, Shazam's awesome. Shazam is a young child, an 11-year-old boy, who can become a grown man with his magic word. It's brilliant because he's still a young boy. So, you know, he, he's, you know, he's got absolute massive oh, gushing fan for Superman. And, you know, he, he's not really cut out for, you know, some of the really tough decisions about being a superhero. And some of the, the stories that they've done around him are absolutely superb. And as I said, it's surprising they took that long to to do it because he is one of DC's more interesting things. Because Superman's not very interesting. Superman's too powerful to be interesting. Oh, look, he's completely invincible. Oh, look, Kryptonite. There we go. Oh, that was a surprise.
Right, are you making a profit, Mr. Airplay? Uh, just. Oh, right, yeah, no, that's a different Captain Marvel. That's the DC Captain Marvel, not the uh, MCU Captain Marvel. I believe they agreed not to use it in the films. Because DC and Marvel have a weird joint copyright on the word superhero. That, that I, There have been people trying to break that because superhero is now... What the fuck are you doing? Because superhero is now such a generic term, it really shouldn't be a... Um, copyright. Uh, yeah. But it is. But DC and Marvel own it together. Which is interesting as well mm. yeah it's a different captain marvel i'm gonna call it one of those ones where they got spider-man um, no, like captain america and um beta bill being captain and no, beta bill like that you know, those sort of characters when you got different characters having different sort of <coughs> titles functions etc There we go. That is now one way, and that is now one way. One way means you're not allowed to go that way, Mr. Train. Don't just drive to the back of the one-way signal. Hey, any good suggestions from people as to what to roll in on our Thursdays? Because we're now up to three big truck games a week. Which is fine by me. I am actually quite looking forward to breaking um, uh, Farm Simulator with just too many people. Uh, because it's it, it looks like, it's a bit like The Raft, but it looks like it's like a super grindy game. But if you throw a bunch of people at it, you can just break that. And I quite quite look forward to doing that. Now, can I? Are we trying to get uh, Pulsar on the list? Which one was Pulsar? Was that one? That was the the bridge crew clone. That was probably yeah. better. I think I've just been I've just been waiting for that one to go on sale. Because lately I've just stuck them on my on the. Uh, my wish list, just waiting for it to uh, go cheap. And Ar Artemis is free? The thing is, after playing Barrow Trauma, I like Barrow Trauma, but I don't... I'm tired of playing games where the limiting factor seems to be me working out the UI. Yes. Is that somewhat tedious, isn't it? Well, I guess any teamwork game is going to be limited by people talking, and that's part of the fun. Yeah, but like with Barrow Trauma, it was like, can someone go and do a blah, 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 blah. And then you're like, all right, and then we're all feeling around going, I don't know how to do this. I can't make this happen. It wasn't like we as um, players were the problem. Like, or, or, how can I put it? Our, as a player, we knew what to do, but we couldn't make our characters do it. And that just was getting really frustrating in Barrow Trauma. I don't want to have yeah. to fight the UI. I want to have to fight the challenges in the game. Not working out which particular order to click stuff onto it doesn't break.
wants to be take a town's bridge down? Uh, they get angry at you, but <laughs> that's just yeah. path the course in this game, isn't it? I'm looking at this goods train that I'm trying to get up for Bone Crusher. I think it is actually on its way now. But it's got it collected goods from Death Loop. I'm like, why did you stop there? Not even spell it should have gone back got back to the what the bloody hell is that thing? I want to know why High Council no, no, no. has got two train lines, but only one ever gets Ah, there's no signal. Right, so that's what Oh, okay. Well, that's wrong. So that's impossible. And that needs a signal. There we go. Station in your orders. Oh, can't use station. What? Why can't this go to death loop? What? What? Maybe can't go to death loop. Oh, what oh. have you done? What's happened? Someone's deleted a station to put a new one in and not join them up. Me. Yeah. Work it. I'll delete it. Hang on. It's okay, I'll do it. We need to control click when you build it. Oh. Mm. I didn't realize they were that far apart. My bad. I mean, really, we could also do it doing that. Oh. I'm actually surprised we've not had an issue. There's an awful lot of trains servicing this. Yeah, but they're good trains. They like bagels. What? Is that the measure of a train? How much is No, no, no. I might have to say what, so you have to queue up. A place could go ahead. What? What? Where are you going? What? <laughs> <laughs> so it's funny, it's company policy, so I'm not allowed to um, install games on my laptop. So I just stuffed all into a VM instead. <laughs> when I worked at Sumo, we all had to use Max. Oh, I don't know why. Mm. Um, yeah, but um, importantly, we our the Max wouldn't run our game properly. So I used to take my own laptop into work, which was uh, Asus Dragon Edition Two, and people were like, "How does it run the game so good?" I'm like, "Because it's not a Mac. Because this is this is a proper onboard video card. It's a proper video card. Whereas the Max just used the Intel onboard, and they." Were, Awful. Oh, the I GPU, yeah. Yeah, it was just, they were so underpowered, and our games were really not designed Blech. to run on the onboard one. Well, so you could do the coding and the building and all that compiling and that sort of thing. Yeah, but you couldn't. And then not actually check it, not actually test it. Well, you could check it, but I mean, you were running the game at 15 frames a second at, at debug levels of graphics. Hmm. But it's quite funny. We said, well, I used to just bring my own laptop into meetings so I could actually run the game. Because for graphics, to a degree, it doesn't matter what the frame rate is. You know, if the frame rate's low, cool. But you're still looking at a series of nice screenshots of the game. For audio, it doesn't work when the audio drops low. It just becomes a, a stuttering, nightmarish mess. mess. Yeah. That's, that's why I'm not actually listening to the audio on the laptop. Uh, well, to be fair, really surely, surely this game's running at 60, surely. Uh, graphically it's fine, yeah, I've just got the audio turned off. The audio is coming through, I'm doing the audio on the uh, tablet. And he's talking. It's not the sort of game you need to really hear the sounds anyway. No, I've just got a little uh, YouTube video, well, not stressing you because you're out of internet, uh, but I've just got a little YouTube video playing some chip tunes. Oh wow. Why? Okay, all of these trains made a loss last year. <laughs> Oh, it's January. Okay, never mind. 
Yeah, ignore <laughs> ignore these invalid order messages. By the way, they're they're, they're bollocks. They they are they are valid. We fixed it, but they're all queued up. Just delete the messages. Just go messages. Delete delete all messages. Yeah, I, I am. I'm like, oh, can you delete all messages? Yeah. How? Um, second in from the right. Show message. Last message. New support. Show message options. Ah, delete all messages. Press and hold. Ah, yes. Messages. Thank you. See, after thirty something years of playing this game, there's still something to learn. Hmm. Nice. Like the use of signals other than the overpowered one? Uh, yeah, but the problem with the other ones, they're just too bloody complicated and they go wrong. And then you're like, oh, I just better passing them. Now, I do feel they are a bit overpowered, but um, block signals, sorry, um, entry exit signals and combo signals. They just go wrong so much. I'm going to make the twenty the goods trains longer because they're not making profit doing what they're doing at the moment. Massive run just means they cost more in servicing than they do in actually profit. Uh, as long as both ends of it are uh, long enough. I think with an escape room type game, that's not what, a multiplayer escape room game in VR? Are there any? That would be good, yeah. The problem with those is they're kind of a one-shot deal. Hey, I've done it. All right, cool. No, you don't have to, do you? You could make it... It doesn't have to be one... You could randomise the room, randomise the clues. You know, you could make it so it wasn't. You could make it so it was, like, easy, medium, hard. I don't know. The I, problem I, is you'd have to be very good at designing the puzzles so that... Um, Oh, well, God. You'd have to have enough, enough experience of them to be able to make a decent one. Oh, I, I was assuming... I oh, would... I think I know what to do. Oh, wow. Uh, the factory looks amazing now. Uh, now we have four good trains wait Four uh, trains waiting. First bus arrives at explain <laughs> So the Hitchhiker's Guide to Train Hoppy is actually pretty good. Unfort and it has five thousand people waiting. Unfortunately the other end is awful. So Revolt train station is uh not. It has very few passengers. And I was just trying to fix Homer's power station because uh, it's got. Oh. It doesn't have that much waiting. Okay, cowgirl is. Cowgirl has fucked up a lot. Yeah, so why is this train not using that? Now will you? So this train is is trying to go oh, to. Yeah, yeah, for some reason, train. yeah, but it's not going through. Aha, fixed. Well, not this, not this night, not tonight, but um, tomorrow, tomorrow, next week, we should start on monorails as well, which makes life a lot easier. But then we'll have to. Ooh. There's a lot to upgrade. Cold train two is lost. Are you really, sir? Oh, ah, how Why is monorails better? But much faster. Oh. I mean, practically, there's no, there's no real difference. It's no. just a game thing. Game it's just mechanic. Yeah, the, well, in reality, they're probably more dangerous. In reality, yeah, monorails are brilliant. They're really good, like much better. But you need much, much more, much, much better tolerances when you're making them. Things like that, so they are more expensive. Um, but uh, 
one rail. Are they like three times better or ten times better? Uh, I would I would hazard a guess. It's just purely a, a number I'm going to pick out of the air. Twice as good, considering they have half as many... Um, Tracks. Uh, Rails. Wheels. 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 Actually, they might not have less wheels. You think about a roller skate versus an inline skate. They don't actually have any less wheels. They just have them in a different arrangement. Yes. Maglevs are superb. Um, the real problem yeah, is co cost with all of them. Should we not, jump, yeah. should we not jump from what we've got to Maglev and just ignore them on rail robbery? No, uh, Maglev's 2030. Uh. So, yes, in theory, in practice, not really. I like how you just built their train system under the town. <laughs> it's nice, isn't it? I like that. I, I don't do that enough, and I should really I do it like, more. I'm, I'm done playing this game. <laughs> Get under there. Well, the thing is, that means I can come out there straight, which means that... Um, yeah, and, and you swap the station around. Cool. Yeah, that means that, 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 you are, that people are arriving into the station straight, so there's not any, like, nasty last-moment corners. So the, the yeah. stream knows what I'm like talking it. about. Ah, where was it? Uh, bugger. was... Uh... Where was it, Tad? What? Where, 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 where was that? Triard head. Triard head. Yeah. So what I did is I had it so it's a quick in. So the trains are maintaining a lot of speed, and then it's a straight in. So that means that they aren't trying to go slowly around. They're doing a, a longer route, but quicker. So as we mentioned before, more trains, more more track, more trains. I think better. I think there is an issue with Homer's translation. Iliad. <laughs> no, Homer's um, power Banana station. Skin. Could I say? I have a question. Why do we all speak in British accents? We're from outer space. There is no Britain. Um. In... Oh. Iron Man or the Avengers uh, Civil War. Yes. Um, Iron Man goes to summon Spider Man and goes some says some words. It's like on the roof or Andarus or something. I don't quite get what he was saying. Andarus, you're up. Of what is it? <laughs> Andarus, you're up. What's an Andarus? Uh, underwear. Because he's right. His suit looks a bit like underwear. Oh, like pajamas. Yes. Train breaking down at a boneyard is just I, detrimental. I, I'm sorry, can, can we just rewind the moment to not not only did I know exactly what you're talking about, I knew the exact line. I, I think I deserve a little a little tiny round of applause there. This is one good up, thank you very, very much. Good. Thank you. That's what, what do you call them underwear? Is Under, that American for under is, is, is a, yeah, under is, is yeah, crackers would probably be the, the UK equivalent. Why is this train still got our goods on from Deathloop all the way back over here? Ah, because there was an issue with Deathloop because it wasn't accepting goods. Ah, and it's also got goods from Foshingford Factory as well. So uh, it's going to basically make a massive loss. Come on, I'm sending it on its way. It's all right. It should sort itself out. Sometimes these things can take a year or two to sort themselves out. Yeah. And goods train two. It's got goods from... Oh dear, I don't want this. Is Fuffingford oh. Factory accepting goods right now? Uh, accepting? No, Fuffingford Factory makes goods. Makes the goods. Why has he got goods from Fuffingford then? Jay's basically said just that your, they, his expectation of me is so high that uh, I just have to try harder. <laughs> Man. Alright, there you go. I, I did mess that up. There we go. That's now. Improve Ed. Improve. Given how freaking useless they are, um, the guy who designed this, Chris, I didn't have enough have a, a hard on for fucking airplanes. There's so many different types of planes, and they're almost always the same speed and shit. Apart from the Concorde, which is <laughs> so overpowered, but all the rest of them are awful. Is this supposed to be broken, by the way? Yes, I don't know. Is what's supposed to be I'm put a sign down and say it's broken. That probably doesn't help. Where, where is it broken? I put a sign down. 
Um, it is quite a big map. Just south of Southern Superstation. Uh, you see? It's uh, just like some dirty piece of track by Van Lee. Yeah, I don't know if it's by go. choice or not. No, it's because yeah, I think yeah, it's because it wasn't a, it wasn't a correct slope. Yeah, this is massive. Oh my god, where there are no signals on this line for like six screens. Remember, no signals. <laughs> no signals means that only one train can go on it. Yep. There we go. I've just done like six screens worth of signals. There we go. Brilliant. Maybe you can just click and drag along a railway line to do it. But make sure the distancing is set a bit longer than a four. Longer? No. Why? Yeah, so when you get the, the, the control up, set it to eight, so the dragging distance is eight apart rather than four apart. Uh, the, no, four is optimal. You can go down as low as one, but it just gets a little bit expensive and looks ugly. But you want less. The less you have, the more likely the trains will fit into uh, that. What the fuck? I've just seen a train go past... Someone's pressing the wrong buttons on trains. Are you talking about Petty Officer Cold Shrimp? Yes. Yeah, I've just, I was just changing it. It was too long. Okay, I'm glad the other train didn't come out of depot. <laughs> no, it can't do. Well, I, if I hit go into depot, as long as I don't hit skip depot, I'm good. Interesting, but we seem to be stuck at 30 million and not progressing. Oh, my God. Cornholio 2. Oh, there's a... Oh! Fuck's happening at 10th and well. <laughs> okay, so, Fuffin Fur Factory has finally died on us. We now have Adam. seven goods trains all waiting. That is not valid. Because that means the whole system just breaks horribly. But the whole thing is broken, because now none of them will ever fill up. Can't get a pass through? No, no, because... Well, they're all planning to drop goods at the station, but they can't, because they're all up. waiting to collect. Pick, they're all pick up, because they're, they're goods trains. Ah. I just told one or two then. No, no, I've just told one to go. I've just told one to go and see if I can. It just put... broke down. It yeah. literally broke down as oh, you I told know. it to go. It's great. I'll, see if I... <laughs> I'll see if I'm allowed anymore. Uh... I hate it when that happens. Yeah. Yeah, start to take a loop and come back. Well, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to see how big I can make that station. <laughs> can I put another couple of platforms in? I think our limit's 12 on this playthrough. I can make it bigger, but I think the limit's 12. You can go as high as you like, but that's when you get these ridiculous stations bigger than the largest cities in the game. <laughs> I've just one station, as long as it's got more station platforms connected to it, means it keeps on doing acting as the same station. Uh... Yeah, I like how I fixed death, or uh, what, Boneyard? Yeah. I don't, I don't know, Jay. Um, nice. Unfortunately, um, with that, Harvesting a plant, it's a lot of hard work. It, it depends. If you're at a small farm, they might not mind so much. They might not be... Uh... But if it's a larger farm, they're probably way too busy. I mean, uh, you know, you, you there's no harm in asking, of course, but it's a bit like a fire station. If you go along going, can I sit in the cab? They might be like, yeah, brilliant. And other, and other times they'll be like, no, um, we're way too busy. I have busy. a question. It's about trains. Why does Bone Crusher have a backlog of crates of goods on because... platform? Because... So, I them. think that I so at previous periods it did not accept goods and then it did and I think that might be a bug. Right, does that counter crates? Doesn't seem my, my trains are supposed to go there and deposit goods. Don't seem to be coming back, not you know, empty. They're coming back with stuff on them from that station still. Yeah, I think this might be a similar thing to what happened with. Um... Or well, maybe the the amount of. Goods. Uh, this makes more sense. The amount of goods left at the station is piling up, and the city can only consume at a certain rate. And the don't... rate they're being consumed at is much slower than the, yeah, the rate that... of deposit at I this had, stage. I had that exact same thought, and then I reminded myself that's not a game mechanic. That's just not a thing. Uh, but I know it makes sense, but that's just not. Right. It, it's something to do with the fact that for a while, does the trade, does the station accept goods right now? That's the question. Yes. Okay. Well, it says it does. See, what I should have done so, here is I should have had a dedicated goods line in and then tell them to go via a goods waypoint. 
I didn't think it would get to this. But this is uh, mild insanity. Madness! Um, I don't know. Okay, I guess I can... There, that's prettier. <laughs> it was annoying me. That's what that's what is important. Of course. I do hate these nice three towns these trains keep on doing to go from platform or incoming line one to train platform two. No, I think I might not be able to go any further because the uh, sawmill is in the way. But I'm going to try. Can we get on three? Yes. Burn it down. Uh, maybe. I'm not sure this is going to work. I'm going to try, but I'm not sure this is valid. Can we build uh, a statue of the hedge? We will field check. Good. Did you say who built a statue? Make, um, Hopefully everyone. How to make the statue? Uh, click on the town, then click on uh, local authority. Yeah. And then it's one of the options there. Okay, we've now got... It's not there. Oh, then it's already been done. Right. We now have a 12 big um, station here. Wow. Oh, and then a train just came out. Look, you naughty train. How would you force a train to dump its goods at this place? Because they're not going to make any money if they don't they dump uh, them. You can force oh. offload, but that's that's probably not a good idea. So if, if Boeing Crush is having a problem, presumably we shouldn't be sending goods there. <coughs> it had a problem. Like past tense, like quite a, quite a long time ago as well. Yeah. <coughs> Got four thousand. Wait, what? Still, wait, wait, still good, still. There. Oh God! Okay, that. Uh, okay, OTTD station accepts goods not unloading. It's very slowly. I mean, just ticking around really slowly. Four thousand four hundred has gone up since the train went past. I just check those goods are all four here, right? Uh, how do I? Oh, it's a plus, isn't it? Ah, no, they're not for here. Right, what the fuck? Someone's a fucking food factory. Oh, right? I so I think I think I know what it, I know what it is, and I don't know how to fix it yet. So what this is is when this station no longer accepted goods for a brief period of time, all those goods got a new destination. That destination is Football Revolt Station, but we don't deliver goods there, or a goods train has accidentally gone through once uh okay ottd clearing destination of goods possible just to delete them all yeah. wow so i've just cleared googled opened ottd clearing destination of goods the topic is the principle of the universal destination of goods excellent right the universal destination of goods is a concept in catholic theology what no what transport <laughs> tycoon <laughs> what the... That's not the question we were asking. Uh, uh, trans, like they're all about but the, the... TTD is being co-opted by Christianity. No, no, Catholic Hooray. Catholicism. Um, transport. Capital C. Transport tycoon. Like what? There are two different uses of the word Catholicism: capital C and a lowercase C. They have different meanings. Uh... Which I didn't realize. Also, it was a typo for the longest time. One is yeah. an organization, and one is a religion. Or what kind of difference? Um, one means Catholic worldwide, and one means Catholic worldwide religion, or certainly the Catholic religion, or the Catholic belief system, I think. Yeah, uppercase it's, it's, C it's, when it's religious matters. Yeah, whereas um, uh, a generic Christian statement would be using Catholic with a lowercase C meaning worldwide. Yeah. 
Yeah, one's a proper noun, one's a adjective. Other stations. The problem is when new goods arrive, they are arriving and adding to that pile of for another station. But there are some there from Tron... Not from... Tronningley Factory. Yeah, from, from Tronningley Factory. Via. Via Tronningley Factory, yes. That's come straight from there to here. But it's cut, but they're destined for Football Revolt. Why would they be going to Football Revolt? Because at a brief previous point in time, the B Bone Crusher did not Shit. accept goods. Hmm. How quickly is this town growing? Not very. Um, Jay, uh, uh, I have zero, wow. zero packet loss. That's 100% your end, I'm afraid. A drop to lower quality. Um, so, yes. Yeah, so, mm, mm, mm. uh, goods, wrong destination. I'm not sure what to, what to Google. Is there nowhere just sort of something that flat the contents of the station? I suppose it's not really a thing you don't deal with. Yeah, the other op, the only option, one option, demolish the station, wait till it disappears, then rebuild it. Brilliant. Uh, wait till it disappears? Yes, it's not a... Uh... The town hates us as it is. Ah, uh, really? Doesn't it? They think we're outstanding, but let's not go wild yet. Yeah. Free Xboxes for everybody. Hooray! <laughs> I can't find any uh, anything, I'm afraid. Let me just see if I could just fix other completionist. That's Homer's power station. So I can get the Homer's power station via this route. That seems fine, other completionist. So all you have to do is. I, I kind of like doing this. It's just watching a train waiting for it to do the derp. Oh, no! Who pressed the button? No, not the button. Who pressed stuff? No, and... you, you blew up some trains. I've already cloned them. We're good. Stop connecting them up willy-nilly. Apologize to all the dead people. Keep your nilly out of my willy. Train and a cargo train. Okay, train, you've stopped. Why have you stopped? You stopped because that stopped. But yeah, Jay, I've got zero drop packets. Four nine. I know I've got seven drop packets out of uh, 4.6 million. I'm sure I don't mind in general. In principle, you're doing like transfer sensations, but you just kind of abandoned this one and you've not, not even put any signals onto it. So it's never going to work. It's just jammed up trains for miles and miles and miles around. Which one? Where? Same thing, well, transfer. Unless that's Tad's, because it is oil. What are you doing? Bad train. Then you should have gone down there. Oh. Well? Set something well, yeah. Wait, what are they doing here? Uh, well, the problem is That's... something well transfer has caused a, a problem because there was no signals on it. So trains were not happy. But trains are, seem to be struggling to leave it and get to Homer's power station. I'm trying to solve that now. They're Why? Long way away from the power station. Yeah, but they're What's going. going they're going. Why what? did they even go in here? I don't know. Why are they not going straight along? We know the usual reason. Well, um, my fault. Yeah, but I can't see what I've done wrong. Oh. 
Wait, that yeah, train. Like, what are you doing, guy? Are you talking about uh, wood chucker? That wood train. Yeah, I, 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 I was wondering that myself. You're like, what? Where are you? Ah, hold on. Where are you going? Cowgirl is what I've been trying to fix. There's a fix. signal problem somewhere. Yeah, well, I can't see it. Like, that train's going to come down here. Then why did you not go left? There. Now it's going left. What, what are you up? doing? What is happening? It's going to hit the one-way light. Yeah, it's turning around. Yeah. What? Why is it not going straight? And it's going. And, and then but this. That one just went over there. What is so that? Maybe there's something broken further down towards Homer's power station. Oh. Well, what I can't, is that doing there? Well, I can't see anything. Like, this all looks fine. It's quite a long way, but. Hmm, hold on. So, what do you do? You're making a million dollars a year. It's amazing. Oh, wait a minute. There's no way into Homer's power station. Just out. That's why. Yeah. Found it. Homer's power station way over here? Yeah, there, there was no way in. There was just ways out. That way in was blocked that way. That why way... do you just do the one little dog leg? That way in was an out. Oh. Because there's a hill. There we go. And then there's an alternative route as well. That should be fixed now. Yeah, they could they, they couldn't get there, but they were giving up a long way away. There we go. <laughs> it should get as close as it could do and then stop, not just go, I'm just going to drive around in circles and look like a numpty. <laughs> Confusing everyone looking at me. Yeah, we're going to get a whole bunch of uh, lost profit last year due to that derp. I, I can't even work out what happened. Like, it, it, it obviously, Home of Power Station has been working, but I can't see anything anybody did to make it wrong. Like, there's a lot. There's an out from Home of Power Station. Oh, wait, that's an out. That's a nice out, but that out is... Yeah, that's an out. And then that's a loop down, but there was no in. The only... The in was impossible. There was just no route to come in at all. Oh, I see. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. That was me then. Oh, okay. I didn't want to. Didn't want to. You know. And it's been broken a minute. Uh oh. No, no. Really it's a safe assumption to make. Well, I'm gonna blame Brett. Yeah, but I still have no idea what to do. What? I'm doing. <laughs> like I'm getting. I'm getting better at my single player world. Yeah. Like, I, I mean... don't have a train that's losing fourteen thousand a year. What are you doing, cornflakes? Ah, uh, that just that'd be one of the stuck ones. That's all. I, 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 I mean, earlier, I mean, Max told me about a button. I mean, I say even after many decades of playing this game, I still feel there's an awful lot to learn. So got the train. The... But they're still patching it too. That yeah. could be new. Well, new features, yeah. all sorts. Oh yeah, I guess that is true. That's fancy option. There's a whole little menu to turn on different things to turn off. Like I'm very happy Probably. with all the jiggering I've done at Bone Crusher. Uh, I haven't gone to look yet. Yeah, I, I think. We need to be relaying the goods to, I guess, to um, from there to where they want to go. Because otherwise, they're just never going to leave. Do you understand how many trains are are filling that up right now? Yes, lots. Ironically, but the point is that my train is going there, trying to unload its goods, collecting goods, unloading and collecting goods, and then going back to its destination with nothing on board and losing. Then from that point on, not making any money. I mean, because it can't take, it's just got, it's good, it takes some round. Goes to its station, goes, I've got nothing to collect. Right, back you go. Goes to death loop. Oh, I can't know for these. So right, round we go again. Okay. You know, I'm pretty sure they make it losing money. Right, so you're saying go to Bone Crusher, full load, yep. and then go to, uh, what was it called? Uh, Football Revolt Station. Does Football Revolt Station accept goods? It does. You see, the problem is, I, I, I'm, ge I'm genuinely questioning 
how many trains I'm going to have to do to fix that. Football Revolt is a pain in the ass as it is because it's um, it's a transfer station that's not serviced anywhere near enough. So it's actually struggling to um, get any sort of throughput. I'll be able to make it a little I've bit. I've got faster bridges. Uh, don't. There are, you've always got faster bridges. Just don't make your bridges so short. No, the tubular bridges are available now. Uh, I didn't think that was a year thing. Oh, but cool. No, you have to put them down correctly. Uh, that's all. Yeah, I, I just thought it was just a minimum length. They're very fast, though. Do we have any trains that are that fast? Uh, is the highest electric one that fast? Mm, the fastest train we've got is... Uh, oh, I can't see. Asia Star. Oh, we got, oh, do we have Asia Stars? No, oh, why didn't anyone tell me? Asia Stars all round. You get an Asia Star. We have 97 TIMs to replace. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my. That's, that's why we don't. We haven't been making any money. It's just upgrading stuff. I'm yeah, buying new trains. Yeah, so I mean, upgrading stuff, of course, is expensive. But yeah, Good Fixer is now uh, um, going to sh shift his stuff between A and B. And in theory, if we empty it, I mean, the only other thing we could do is, to, is all of the trains going to Bone Crusher, stick them all in a depot and wait for that to empty. That's our only real option. That's or move the goods to where they need to be. But this is where, if we can empty it of goods, it will solve itself. But we are talking about 25 trains. But that's all I can suggest is literally every single one of these trains goes to a depot. It won't take too long. I mean, at least we can make them all come out. Yep, I'm sending, my, I'm sending the trolling ones to Actually, it said that. Yeah. Good fix is not, it's not doing it. There's a void order. It, uh, it means the station's been deleted. Good fixer, I said, go to Bone Crusher, full load any cargo, and it's not. It's, off, it's loading zero. So that's not working. Mm. I mean, if we stick all the trains, all the goods trains in the depot anyway, apart from Good Fixer, um, the, the goods will disappear. I'm sure I've got the hell to. Uh... I love Trod Head Oil 4. Doing full speed, saying I can't find a path. Well, you clearly can. He doesn't know where he's going, but he's going there as fast as he can. <laughs> I've had days like that. We all have. Uh, are we getting rid of FE Train, by the way, Shaka? Which train? Effie Train has got a void order. It keeps sending me that every month. So Good Fixer is now upgraded to a uh, Asia Star. Maybe something happened to the station, but it had an erroneous order. Uh, maybe. It just keeps popping up an error message at me. Well, that does work. Do we have any 
iron ore sources that are not serviced? Uh, not that I know of, but I'll be honest, I've been busy trying to firefight all of the broken stations. I hope this power station is still not working, by the way. <laughs> Things every time I check it, it's just got a whole bunch of trains to uh, on its way. It's like, oh yeah, they're all going. They're not stuck. They're just not here. But I'm surprised there's not kind of a dump the station option. I'm watching Bone Crusher and everything that's coming towards it, I'm sending straight to a depot. So it doesn't have a chance to unload at the station. Shouldn't need to do that. Well, I shouldn't, but you're right. We don't yeah. want to make it any worse. We want that value to go down, not up. Yeah. We need to empty it. Okay, where the fuck are you going? Good fixer has just driven into an almighty uh, horror. A horror. It goes rather too close to the station. I'm sorry, but yeah, this is not a this is not a game you want to a stream you want to watch on the phone. I, can, I, I to be fair, I used to play this on my iPad, um, which was a two forty by three twenty screen, and you really got good at memorizing your levels. Great port as well, really good port. Ran on a on the little <laughs> stylus. But destructive phase. Uh, why don't you go? Go and come back on Sunday when we'll be doing Rackfest, uh, and that one is it works great on a on a small screen. At some point, I should start spending a little bit of time looking at the Rackfest mods because there are a lot of them. Oh, wait, what? What do you mean transfer and leave empty? That doesn't seem right. I think, Shalka, you may have derped the That's something orders. I've been doing in my single player world. No, work. no you, you only transfer if you really know what you're doing. It's easy just to end up with stations just full of shit. Because right now, Homer's power station has two trains going to it that transfer and yeah, leave empty. I do that with oil. Right. but we... Homer's power station has two trains going to it that transfer and leave empty. But there are no trains going to it that take the goods away. So, pretty sure that's the wrong way around. I don't know what Conton West is. But we have no trains. That's another farm. Yeah, so, Schalke, what takes the goods from Homer's power station to anywhere else? 99% sure this is yours. Unless it's one of these other two. Oh, no, never mind. We've got Cowgirl. Oh, Cowgirl has been... Now we have got two. Never mind. Take it back. All done. It's all fine. Oh my god. Bone Crush of the Football Revolt is an insane distance. I absolutely. That's a good thing, though, isn't it? No, because we're trying to empty it. We don't actually want the money from it, we just want it gone. Oh, uh, it's, it's emptying very, very slowly. 
Destructive be phase. If you have played this game before and you are better at me, then I am very curious if you can answer me a question. Bone Crusher, it has been our main destination for dropping off goods. Now, blowing up the station won't help. Now, now Fixer can't come. Leave the station there. Stuff dissipates very slowly, but not much quicker than if it doesn't. So just leave it there for the moment. So, this station... Oh, wait, how on, all the goods are gone. Oh, no, you, that's a new station. You've got to join it up. C control... you got to join it up. Control build it. That was a new station, not part of the existing one. Hey, problem solved. No, not solved. So, Bone Crusher is where we've been sending our goods. However... I accidentally clicked the rebuild roads button. So for a brief period of time, it no longer accepted goods. Cargo Desk then recalculated the route, meaning that we now have four and a half thousand goods here destined for a different station. So all of the goods gained a different destination. The problem is more and more goods trains are arriving at the station, dropping off more goods. But they are adding to the to the wrong destination and i don't know a way of clearing it so what we've currently got now is uh we've got a train i mean to be honest we're so rich i could probably just build 50 of these so we are emptying it of um but we're not taking them away using the game mechanics we're using we are, we are taking them from just delete at their own no no, no we, we have got a, a train taking it away what's it called good fixer Right, I'll make sure not to kill it. Yeah, fortunately, I'm keeping an eye on it, yeah. But I don't know if there is a way to, say, reset all of the goods destination and or clear all of the goods. But new trains arriving should have offloaded directly because you can see it does accept goods. But that doesn't seem to be the case. And I'm actually wondering if that's a bug. Yeah, what are these, these 10 trains that I've got in this depot? Wait. Long goods, refinery goods, try and wreck me. Yeah, just just wait. Long goods too. I, I am actually just going to try something. So I also think there might be a further bug because we have had a few weird issues in this game because this is the Steam version. So we have had a few weird issues where trains are just refusing to pick stuff up. And I don't know why. So the, uh, I've already told you to skip the order. So bone crusher, you go. Uh, you're not going anywhere to turn around, are you? Turn around there. <sighs> Stupid train. Oh my god, how far is it to turn around? Oh, um... Can we get that railway line back, please? I've got a train that needs to drive along it. Whoever's blowing up Compton. Me. It's built. It's not. Yeah. yeah unfortunately, you didn't reconnect up the loop. Yeah, I'm working on that. Don't, don't. You're, you're, you're breaking a very I busy line. Yeah, I know, but you, 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 you're you breaking an extremely busy line that I'm unfortunately I know. I'm trying to do it as quickly as possible. There we go. I found another turnaround. But I really needed to fix the landscape here. It was awful. Yeah, but you can't. It's oh, I never thought it's about making, I never thought about making a uh, tunnel out. Right, when you did it at the other place, I was like, you know what? Yeah. That's brilliant. I'm doing that. All right, now, shoo. All right. Yeah, I'm hoping, Disruptive Faith, you have a clue. But I hope that makes sense, what the issue is. I, know, I understand why the issue's there. What I don't understand is how to make the issue go away. Please don't look at how we build our networks. The answer is organically. With newbie Try people who are it. learning to build it. Aren't we all... That's fine. Aren't we always going to build? Well, there's except, an idea we're trying to... Except in Wreckfest. Idea too. 
Okay, so Good Fixer is arriving. Good Fixer is a goods train. And I've told it to full load any cargo. And is it going to? Hello. Yeah, the fuck. It's only 6% and then stopped. And I was wondering if the cargo disc had, had to update. But yeah, what's going on here? So this is a goods train heading to... Um, um, Full Revo Station. Yeah, it's heading to. Uh, I've got a name of it now. Hello. 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 Okay, it's if I actually turn the phone actually... on, then it yeah. will start talking. Yeah, so it's heading to Football Revolt Station. This station yeah. ha has many, many, many goods for Football Revolt Station. Why is this train not loading the goods? Wait, what? Oh, shut up. No, it doesn't. They're doing something now. No, that's Long Goods 3. Yeah, because it's just uh. grabbed the goods on the way in. These goods are in a, these goods are in a broken state. So what's happened there? It's just grabbed all the goods that other train dropped off. These are broken in some way. Now, here comes the train. Long Goods 3. Oh, it's gone all the way through. I've told it deliberately to go into the depot. Yeah, we don't want to add to the problem. So those 60% there, those 60% are the ones that just arrived, that just transferred it from one station to the other. Ah, man. Yeah. What are you doing, train? Why are you going in the wrong direction? The train here just literally driving in the wrong direction stopped and going, nope. I, 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 <laughs> Good fix went straight through. Well, there's only a one directional thing anyway. What was the city planner game back in the 90s that was very similar to this? Sim City? Well, yeah, we didn't, do any, City? we didn't do any trains there. Uh, uh, I don't think it was Sim City. There was, there was another one. Sim, um, A train. Sounds familiar. Uh, yeah, Cargo Disc. Yeah, absolutely. Cargo Disc has been part of the main default options for. Bloody hell. Decade or so. So yes, definitely using cargo disc. Oh, oh I might be able to turn that off, actually. Ah. Cargo disc. Well, I think that's a good fixer. Ah. Uh, they're trying to say I'm loading. Not percent. Oh, why's that gone red now? Why is Two, what? eight, five, eight, seven crates to any station. They're still not loading it, but... They're text has gone red on Bone Crusher. Now, there's one of two situations. Three. What, th option three, I don't understand. Option one is it has a timeout. After it doesn't make it there for a certain amount of time, it becomes valid for any station. Option two, right. it happened when I went into the menu with a cargo disc and went, let's look at the options. Yeah. And you know which? I think it might be the <coughs> second one. I think this is a genuine bug. So this is under env env environment. I mean, why can't we just make all 4,000 crates, you know, any desto? Unfortunately, any destination still means it needs to go somewhere. But why are the trains not loading it? Hmm. Oh, it's just a good fix this going somewhere. No, I just told it to skip twice. It's just going to come back in, back in. Oh, OK. So we're in asymmetric, which is the easy one. It takes 16 days to recalculate the graph. Oh god. Yeah, no, I wouldn't I wouldn't ever. So cargo desk should not be on for cargo. It's for goods. Goods you just take somewhere. Goods don't have a destination. Um, this only has a destination because our trains go there. Let's look at Futtingford Factory. You know what? I think this could... So when a train arrives at a, uh, a station, it does hook up a cargo disc, but nothing should have been taking um, stuff there. It might have happened once, but that, that route should have waned. But yeah, I would never ever play the cargo disc off because it's stupid. You have like a thousand passengers, they don't care where they go. 
Uh, yeah, Shaka, you see, the reason that I think you should use pass signals, not the other ones, is the train at Bollywood is just stopped because you've got a block signal. We have a Bollywood? And then another block signal. That's amazing. And, yeah, I, I don't know what... I don't know what you're trying to do here, but this will never, ever work. Can you make it be sensible? Um, well, the easiest way if you want to have it at that end is just to have a passing place like that. So I guess I've got a little passing airlock. That will work perfectly. Because the trains at either end were waiting for access to the airlock, which is never going to work. But now I've got a uh, little turn in the road. But yeah, stop, yeah, stop with the single line shit. It never works. Always either have two lines or a loop. Definitely it never works. Right. Now they've all appeared, apparently timed out. Oh, really? The first, oh. If you look at the, the oh, expand it, it's now they're both in red. But I'm just um, sending good fix around the loop to see if we'll pick up any more. It's got 60% full, but it's got 40% capacity left. So. Right, where's good fixer 2 gone? It's just, I literally told to skip, Jack skip just go around the loop back to boot, bone crusher. Ah, there it is. I think that's a very, that's a very long way around. I'm surprised it wasn't a much easier and simpler route to loop back around. There should be. Just missed it. Just missed it. Yeah, but it should have gone down there and back. Uh... Oh, it's going to, uh, Doesn't okay, so now it's actually going to football revolt station. Oh, okay. Well. Oh, did you not hit? Well, I hit skip. Yeah, you have to hit skip twice to make it go around in a loop. Yeah, I didn't realise it was going to not make it skip the Woody Woodpecker implicit. Yeah, right, yeah. What's good fixer up to? But yeah, what? what... I'm going to break it. I wonder if I can... I wonder if there's any other. <laughs> Yeah, I know what we're going to do. I know what we're going to do. Cool. So, uh, destructively phase, I would appreciate it if you'd stop watching the stream now. Thank you very much. As I don't want you to, <laughs> to watch this. I just want you to avert your eyes. Oh, it's not what I think it is, is it? Yes, where, it is. <laughs> where, do we, where do we need to take it? Anywhere. Okay, then. <laughs> Just make a little circuit there and a little circuit here and round 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 and round. Some track on. There's some lights on. I mean, Good Fixer 3. Uh, good Fixer no, scrap... 3 is going to do that. Uh, good Fixer. I will in a moment copy Good Fixer 1. Oh, good. It has found a way to. Is it going gonna... to loop around? There should be a loop. Uh, yeah, there, really, yeah, 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 yeah. Just it. ignored it. No, no, the other one ignored it because the order was bad. There we go. I've just told Good Fixer two to copy Good Fixer one's orders. Finger crossed. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. Because I was like, oh, where's close by that will accept goods? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do. You might want to hook up the train so it can actually go that way. It can't right now. Oh, uh, it can if it went into the right bloody station. Platform side. Yeah. I'm very surprised to find a train on Steam. Yeah, yeah, A-Train's on, yeah. A -train, well, to be fair, A-Train's had a lot of sequels, so it might not be... Um, I've just got A-Train Classic. Yeah, but that's yeah, not no. that's not A-Train. A-Train was an Amiga game. Talking about one with the Japanese developer. No good with Japanese names. A Train is also a superhero. Wow. He has superpowers. I'm not sure I call him a superhero. God, I can't wait for the next um, uh, series of The Boys. It's just been. every. That's how you do dark and gritty, not however DC do it. Oh, why on earth is Good Fixer going all the way around this? This it missed it. It missed it by the time I realised. I, yeah, I don't know. 
But it, unless Tad's balls this up, it should have gone around there. You could, yeah, if he has balls. Oh, it's a tunnel. It should have There's gone... A tunnel there. It could have... Ah, I don't think it would go... Yeah, I do. No, I think it refused to go around Hell Right. Oh, Todd has absolutely balls up the signals, but... That's okay. We'll fix that in a sec. I always do. I still don't understand them. What do you want from me? Perfection, damn you. Uh... uh I was literally just uh, going to say the same thing. Well. <laughs> Actually, not joking. Uh, <laughs> I see Demo that's really engaged. <laughs> I need a straight piece of track. There we go. Now I can go... One pass signal there, one pass signal there. There we go. Now trains can go in or through. But you, you didn't put any signals on the out at all. So that won't that will never work. Unfortunately. You can't use the middle station, just the end two. So the solution was oh, what? if you move the station What's there. Where? Bone crusher still, but the timeouts have reapplied. And got good fixer two is just what you can't, you can't, do, you, can't, you, you, can't you can't do that to us. You can't go to get anywhere. All right then, no, not there. Full load. I'll try to go to bone crusher full load just in case that makes any difference at all. Well, no, because they're now for the wrong place. Yeah, it's Flushingford factory, Tron Fingley, Brighton. Putting me in football revolt station again. Confusing. It's not taking any of the goods. Oh, sorry, two seconds. Is it turn off cargo desk again? No. Oh, fuck's sake, Unity. So Unity's had this thing recently where it tells you what it's doing. So it now is telling me that Windows Unity is locked up because I pressed the key. Uh, what are you doing with Unity? Uh, typing to search thing. Wait, so that, so wait, so try and wreck me is just filled up with our oh, passengers. Never mind. Oh, I, I, know, I know what we can do. I know what we can do. Good fix, sir. Go to Plinning Head North. Transfer. Go to Bone Crusher, transfer and wait for any full load. That might do it. These will move it to another set. All we need to do is be. Did you Is that just... even working? Did you. What, what, what's good fixer to? Oh, it doesn't have full load. I the think... fixer's empty. Yeah, but I think it should go around, pick up the goods, and then drop them off. So I'm just transferring them. I'm forcing. This is this is the thing. This is why you never use the transfer orders because you can end up really, really, really with your knickers in a knot. <laughs> there you go. That's pulling them off the station. 
Oh, wait. No, hold on. No, Sorry, wrong train. So it's now pulling in. Oh. Oh, good fix it too, but just, just. This should fix it, and then uh, then we can just put these two trains away. I'm just really confused by good fixer. He's going. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Ah, uh, we think we might have found some bugs, which is quite impressive. Oh wow! What, what an open train thing. I think so. Yeah. It's quite complex and subtle, though. Yeah, I imagine it should be fairly niche given how old. <laughs> how much that game's been worked on. So, go to Bone Crusher, full load any cargo, and transfer. Unload. Oh, oh, what has happened? Why is everything going to Cardington? Uh -huh. What have you done? I don't know what you're talking about. Let me. Oh, unless I messed up on the. Uh... Signals. Don't think so. It can go through Cottington, but it I don't think so shouldn't. Either, but for some reason, there's oil takers going through. Why? Uh, more importantly, why is tarred head, trad head oil, trad head oil five not progressing? Heading for death loop. Yeah, so you really need to have that station okay. one longer. I don't want to press the button, but I might have to. I can't. I can't work out why that train isn't going. Another There's nothing inside the tunnel, I don't think. No, there isn't. Uh, or what tunnel? Say, so what you could really do with is having this all... Oh, did it let me do that? Oh, they love us. There you go, that can solve it. So that was the problem, is that you needed a signal on each of these... Uh... Now I can put a straight signal on them. There you go. But uh, why does it need this bypass? The, um, the main line is the bypass. The, the by no, because is the, just the bypass is for stuff turning around, on. which we are having issues with. No, the station the goods no. want to go to isn't isn't being serviced. The problem is we're taking we're taking goods on purpose from A to B, but because B didn't accept goods for a brief period of time, all of the goods gained a new destination. C. Oh, I understand all that. But not talking to you. The problem is that um, no. new goods arriving at B are gaining the destination C. That is the problem. God, you sound so disappointed. Sorry. <laughs> Why can't I move these from this station to that? I should be able to transfer. I should be able to go to Bone Crusher, full load any cargo, and. Don't unload. And then go to Plinding Head North and transfer and leave empty. It does sound like a bug. I don't think... I, I mean, I may have had bugs in this game, but they're... Quite rare, right, I imagine. Is there no way of avoiding it? Well, no. This is, well, this is what we're trying to do. We're trying to take all of the goods away and then just dump them off at a station and we don't care about it. They can just go. Can you not just delete the station that they're in and then no. quickly put another one back? No, no, that would take. Are we could delete yeah, we don't it. Want to do that. It would take several hours to decay. Like I don't understand why I can't full load any cargo and it's not. It's a full load in a transfer. It should just damn well take the orders. But it's not. So I said full load any cargo, then go to here and transfer and leave empty. Now, in theory, well, it worked briefly. I just want these goods out of this station somewhere else, and I don't understand why I am unable to do this. I was going to say, did someone just have a brain fart down the mic? What? 
I'll tell you what I can do, Tad, because I don't actually want that part there as a loop. I only want that part there as a turnaround. So that should stop them coming down this part of the line. That should probably be fixed. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of trains waiting. There we go. Yeah, so that's solved now. I just wanted it when when the trains turned around, they weren't forced into Hell Ride. They could go past Hell Ride. But that means in the other direction, the Hell Ride bypass was a more efficient route because no trains go down it. So it was a less saturated route. Yeah, I'm I'm baffled what to do here. I don't understand why these orders are not picking up the goods and then dropping well, off you, there. You... The problem is that I think when you had them set so they would go anywhere, that was a very narrow window and then it stopped. So whatever you did, you turned no, off and then no, turned back on again. No, no, because it doesn't matter. These are for football revolt. Fine, cool. No yeah. problems. But I am transferring that. Oh, hold on. Maybe if I run one train from there to... Th yeah, got it. Okay, hold on. I has a plan. Go to Bone Crusher. So is this an Adam bug or a game bug? No, this is a game bug. Oh man, where is the? Uh... Right, I think I, I think I, I think I may have it. It's because there's no cargo route from uh, here to there. So I say go to Pinning Head North and Full Load, and then go to Football Revolt. That should do it now. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, no, no, we don't. I suspect it will start now. Because now there is a way of getting goods from Plinding Head North to Football Revolt. So, therefore, it will accept those trains. Because those two trains going around that tiny loop will, will get rid of all of those things very, very quickly. Especially with nothing else arriving. I don't even want to look. Somebody else wants to look at new Funtingford. Uh, Funtingford train station? Oh, Funtingford Factory has no goods waiting at it. That seems incredibly unlikely. Likely? I guess no trains at the right... Yeah, there you go. It's working. It's now going to... There, okay. And now head off. Please work. You only do this once, stupid train. Right. So as soon as er uh, Long Goods Eight, let's give it a better name. Long Fixer. As soon as this one arrives, I think that will rebuild the cargo desk. And then those two trains will suddenly be allowed to pick up and should start. What the fuck is this train doing? Heading for Hellride? No, you're not. Well, on the bright side, uh, Max, because you've put like 30 trains into the um, depots, um, Long Fixer has a, has a blazing run from A to B. But I'm pretty sure once it arrives, the cargo dish should update 16 days later, uh, which is about a minute Station. or something. It's about a minute or something. Yeah, the crates have gone to... The, the, all those crates are now to any station again. But the train, the good fixers trains aren't. Do you have to send around the loop once to get it? Make one of them skip uh, Yeah, I did it exactly the same time as you. 
Wait, why is it going that <laughs> way? Oh, it's going for the depot. Oh, yeah. There's a depot, so that's why I put that loop this side just so it can get out of the depot and come back. Okay, so we'll do it to the other one as well. That one has to, we can't access it from there. That's the one we care about here. The one thing I, I like about this game is over the years I've played this more and more and more and I've just got higher and higher resolution screens to play it on. <laughs> At least I would have probably played it at 1024 by some 6 8 in this. Now, I might be able oh, to... I'm nothing not... happened there. Didn't like it. Just went straight past. It slowed down, almost stopped, then went past. Is that good fix, sir? Transfer... Yes, yeah, so it hasn't got any goods yet, but once it's been around, remember, it needs to pick up the goods first. It yeah. Doesn't, it doesn't have any to drop off, but I think long fixar needs to arrive first. Oh, really? Do you want me to stop them, then? No, 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 it's all right. Just, just let... Jesus. It's fine. A train's arrive. I, I have a funny feeling some stuff doesn't Please. count when a train's sat there. I can't believe you play it without cargo dist. Honestly, so cargo dist is ridiculous because it means you have passengers and the further you take the passengers and the quicker you take them, the more money they give you. They don't care about, you know, where you're taking them. It's completely <laughs> bonkers. That's that's how the game was. The both set that not percent Yeah, but the other train hasn't arrived yet. Oh, the long fix one. Okay. I've got it on my list of things to look at. Don't get me wrong, it's very easy playing without cargo discs, but it's it's also to a degree less interesting because the train it's silly. Because then you just you could ignore the middle of the map and just do stuff at the ends. And I've just also souped up some uh, um things. But this is a bug with cargo disc. So what happened? It's because I clicked the button marked build new station, uh, build new vehicles. Build, oh, you know the button, I mean. Build fun new roads. So that's my fault. I clicked that button. And then for a brief period, our main destination, which receives thousands of cargo a year, didn't accept cargo. And I suspect someone, I'm not going to name me as, but I suspect someone may have had a force unload option on that. I don't think I knew about it back then, so... It, it's something people do a lot. They go, go here, load, go here, unload, which is fine, but unload is an implicit order. It never needs to be specific. I don't, I don't use unload yeah. because they still have the chance to pick it up. I had to do this with my shipping because I would ship to a train track station that didn't have anything to do with oil, and it would never unload onto it. Yeah. So I had to figure out how to do it, and you'd have to click transfer. Not unload, because if you unload there, it unloads it and then picks it right back up for some stupid reason. Yeah. Now, I've seen a, a, a lot of people playing this game. They they assume you have to tell a station to lo a train to load and unload. And it's it's a newbie mistake and it happens a lot. Yeah. Um, but it's not. Doesn't doesn't mean what you think it means. <clears throat> All right, I, we no longer have to go via Woody Woodpecker to known around. Um, yeah, but I mean, to stop your face, it's a, it's a, it's a different, um, it's a different challenge. It's just more interesting because right now you just move stuff from one end of the map to the other. As far as you like, no one cares where you're taking it. Okay. Good fixer has now arrived at, uh, so let's tell you to skip. It's possible that I need to arrive with, uh, cargo, but I have just sped the route up a bit. Also, our routes are pretty good. There's not too many nasty corners in them. Like the trains are actually getting up to 165 and sitting yeah. there. Uh, I've been slowly going through and I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. <laughs> I'm the one trying to make sure this work. at least looks like it works right. Other than the north of the map, I really do not look forward to figuring out what to do at the mid. And I don't want to fix with the mess I made at the bottom. Uh, 
And I and I, I don't want to tear all Ashoka's stuff out. That's his. I'm thinking with the uh, monorail. Obviously, all new stuff would be monorail. But what I'm thinking we might want to do is um, like add a monorail uh, train onto each station, and from there. Um, wait, what the fuck? Okay, that was going there. Oh, a massive monorail station? No, no, like have a monorail platform at each of the existing stations and a big monorail up and down and then go off and on to off and on there. For passengers only? Uh, no, it doesn't really matter because it's just or... what well, it, it's and then slowly uh... progress to monorail. Because that that happens what that the beginning of the next stream will arrive, have forgotten what everything is doing, and then start trying to convert everything. What could go wrong? Wow, that's horrible. Could we fix that at all? Could we even improve it? Uh, so, yeah, just like this. I, I did been... a bypass on Boat of... Crusher. Oh, what are you doing at Boat Crusher? Oh, my God. Uh, we are trying to fix the goods thing. Uh, yeah, so uh, Destructive Play. So I've played oh. this game since it came out. I used oh, to dear. skip college as a teenager with my mates to play this game. Um, so I think all, certainly Tad and, and Schalke are, are new to this game. So a lot of the stuff you see, you know, a combination of me having played... I'm playing it wrong because I'm playing it like I played it 30 years ago. You're playing it wrong so you don't know what you're doing. So we're just in this glorious clusterfuck of just trying to get stuff to be not too broken. So please don't judge us. Please don't tell anyone we're playing it. And please don't watch. Damn, I love it. It's what... not loading cargo. Who at isn't? Bone Crusher. And we are aware. Yeah. Well, that's what we've been trying to fix. But unfortunately, I had to wait for long fix R to, to get back here. I'm sure there's nothing here. Long well, fix. You've got two trains sitting there. Yes. Well done, Tad. Do keep up. Have you, not, have, have you not oh, been okay. listening to us doing the talking thing for the last... Shutting up now. It's half fine. A, that's, that's, that's exactly what we are. <laughs> we think it's a bug. And we're trying to persuade it to unbug. Otherwise, what we'll do at the beginning of next uh, uh, next week's episode is we'll start off with uh, um, by fixing these ones with monorails. Yeah, see, the thing is, um, destructive phase, you look at those elegant junctions, you notice they've just got this enormous flatland of, of ridiculous size and unlimited money. If you're actually playing the game, you will always start off with this spaghetti because you have to. You don't have the money to do it perfectly, all the time. You know, you'll spend ages getting your, your station just perfect. They go, I spent all my money. Ah, oh, bugger. <laughs> it also gets super easy when you get um, monorails and maglevs because they're just so quick. So when you get jams, they don't last very long. What's the fastest monorail? Is it 400, I think? I'm not sure. Oh dear, I don't know. I think it's slower than that. I could be wrong too. I'm I correct in assuming that you need to have a station at every point of contact in this game, i.e. at the, the coal mine. Yes. Right, okay. Then coverage on. That makes it um easier to work out what you're doing with it. You can see the sort of the air it can collect an effect from and to wait what oh right people don't... what is the fastest train including new griffs well you could have one that's just a billion miles an hour sounds cool yeah there's one that does 860 kilometers an hour in a new graph yeah brilliant it's the Chimera, and it does 
402 miles an hour. Yeah. Okay. Too far. He's arriving. So hopefully well. this will now. It should. Fi Wait, what? Bye. What, what's it? What's it doing? I don't know. Why is it going to blending head north? That's not on its. Yeah. Okay. Now it will sit there and full load. So it's waiting for for goods to arrive there. That's fine. That's good. Yeah. That's that's right. So that's that's a loop complete. Now it might take sixteen days. Which is going to be twentieth uh, of Jan, I think. Oh wait, hold on. There we go. Good. good. Oh. Do that to me. I was like, yes, yeah, no. But it ha the game does. The game has to work out how you get from A to B. Oh, very good. The Chimera is the highest level maglev, and of course it's a multi-headed train. Wow, wow, very good. Oh, no, that's capacities information. I wish we could see how much a track is being used. Yeah, we've said that before. Yeah, like a heat map. Oh, that'd be nice. That's City true. Skylines is spoiling us. I've not played it. Doesn't mean this game needs a heat map. This game's... I've not played it, but this game still needs a heat map. Well, it's single player, so you're not going to play it anyway. Well, I, 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 yep. use, I usually play single player games, just not on stream. I mean, the only thing we could do, by the way, is to build a new train station that isn't technically Bone Crusher. So, for instance, if I tell Good Fixer to go to um, Death Loop and transfer, sorry, uh, Because this is technically moving it is to being the same very expensive. place. What? Sorry. Good fixer. Well, because they're not—they've just been sitting. They've not done anything. Yeah. But if I could, if I could force them to off, off, off load, I it would. But that's the problem: is I can't make them load it off. You can force things to offload, but they won't load. They force them to transfer on. No, trans that... some sort of making the transfer. No, because they're not. They're, they don't have anything to transfer. That's the problem. I need to get it off. Hmm. So I've told it now to pick up from there, and offload at Death Loop because that'd be fun. We can move it from Death Loops to somewhere. I, all I need it is offload it to a station. That's why are you going that way? Death Loops down there. Oh, that's the out from death. Oh, why would someone do this? Someone who hated trains. Right, there we go. Now there's an entrance to both sides of death loop. That's enough for me, thank you. All right. Yeah, well, uh, I guess we won't see you tomorrow. You'll be, uh, I guess you'll be driving, won't you? Well, it depends when I leave. But yeah. Am I popping around tomorrow or not? Uh, it's well, it's probably not a good idea. M much as I want to see you, I, I am. I'm gonna say no due to partly my broken leg, not broken, and I say partly the end of Emmy's quarantine. But, I, 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 as I said, I would feel so awful if you got it or, or I got it or anything, and I'd feel like a fucking idiot. So, 
next time, which I'm sure hopefully won't be too long, um, we're already planning to come down to Southampton um, at some point uh, late summer. So I shall uh, pop by then. Hopefully COVID is fucking over because I'm I'm just I'm done with COVID. I'm uh, I'm so over this. Mm. As I, think, I think we all are. Drive safe, sir. Very bit. Bye. Yes. Yeah, poor Maxie's got to drive for the north of the country to the south. And I know England's not that big, but it's still pretty big. What was yes. it? They mm -hmm. keep, or all the American tourists they get, uh, or if they've got both Americans and British, they're like, we're warning, or they, they would warn the British people, like, this is going to be an extremely long journey. The Americans, not so much. <laughs> they're like, what do you mean? It's a two-hour trip. Uh... And all the Americans are like, oh, okay. <laughs> and all the British people are like, wait a minute. Oh, no. You'd be surprised. England's not very big, but it's quite dense. So in America, you just get yeah. on the freeway and you just don't get off the frickin' ever. Whereas in the UK, like going from the top of the UK to the bottom takes bloody ages. Yeah, I've driven two thirds of this country. It takes 24 hours. Yeah, uh, well, what would it be? Hang on. It'll be... So, assume we're sticking within England uh, to... Uh, so no Scottish. In the UK, crossing England... No, not that land's end. What the fuck? In England, it's eight hours top to bottom. Oh, wow. That's it? There are states bigger in, than in, that. in theory, yeah. Wonderful. Um In practice, it was like you're lot longer than oh that. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah, if you if you travel from the top of the United Kingdom to the bottom, it's 14 and a half hours. But that's only in theory. In practice, it's a lot slower than that. So many passengers in Dreddingbury. Oh, my. Anyway, I'm going to stop now because we will have to unfuck this next time. Uh, when does the uh, monorails hit? Uh, end of this year. Oh, okay. But yeah, what we'll do, we'll start next time by emptying Bone Crusher down to another city. Um, we'll just do a monorail, swish it down somewhere. Probably to does see. Does monorails have better capacity for moving trains in and out because they're faster? Uh, just because they're faster, yeah, just stuff's cleared. Anyway. Thank you for watching. Okay. Special chat to Destructive Phase for confirming for me he thinks it's a bug. Um, and I will uh, see you guys all tomorrow for we don't know what we're doing. Nighty night.